Chapter 51, Episode 11 Night of the Prophets 3. I was in a deep sleep. It was a long-awaited good night's sleep. The effect of the deep sleep has completely restored mental power. Some of your exclusive skills have been updated. I checked my clock and saw that it was already 4 p.m. Once Dongmyo Station and the surroundings areas were occupied last night, the accumulated fatigue settled firmly on me. Currently occupied, Chungmuro, Main Base Myeongdong, Dongdemon History and Culture Park, Dongdemon, Dongmyo, Sindang Station, Cheonggu Station, Yaksu Station, Sinseol Dong Station. Thanks to eating the Dongmyo Group, I now had nine stations. Now I just needed one more and the King's Road scenario would be over. Just a bit more and I could achieve one of the key goals of the beginning scenarios, King of No Killing. Once I came out, Yung Hee Won and Lee Hun Sung were waiting for me. We are ready. When will we go? Please wait a moment. I looked towards the men who were heading towards me. Did you sleep well? Last night, I decided to have all members of Dong Myo join my group. The two men in front of me was the result of that decision. Young Min Sob bowed to me and opened his mouth. Please keep me alive. Me too, me too. Sob. Originally I planned to kill Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob, but I changed my mind. These two were useful until I completely wiped out the prophets. I put them in the Chungmuro group and evolved the color of the flag to, brown. From the brown flag, it became possible to restrict the actions of the group members. You have exercised the right of the representative. Group members Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob have restrictions on their behavior. Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob's expression changed at the emerging system messages. 1. From now on, you can't tell others about my identity. Yes, yep. 2. You must unconditionally submit to my commands and you aren't allowed to act individually without my permission. Of course. Group members Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob are willing to accept their limitations. This restriction is a life restriction. If they break the restrictions, group members Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob will die. I nodded and said, well, okay. I don't know when my heart will change, but everyone work hard. I will decide while watching you. The two of them gulped and made hilarious faces. I didn't know what they were thinking. In any case, they wouldn't have been able to stick to Yu Jong Hyuk so it was better to stick to me. By the way, Representative Nim. What should we call you in the future? Call me like you are now. But call me Yu Jong Hyuk in front of the other prophets. Ah, Yung Min Sob. Yep. Give me the fugitive's mask. Yung Min Sob was upset but eventually gave it to me. Anyway, I had to pretend to be Yu Jong Hyuk if I wanted to go to the Night of the Prophets. This, mask, would be a preventive measure for a situation I didn't know. After a moment, the muscles on my face moved in a bizarre manner as my appearance started changing. It felt a bit weird but I soon got used to it. Huh, this is the real appearance of Yu Jong Hyuk. Very handsome, the revelation wasn't wrong. These bastards. I wanted to snap out but I closed my mouth. I didn't need to be angry over something like this. That reminded me, it would be better to know the details of these guys just in case. Young Min Sob, what is your attribute? At this moment, a system message flashed in my head. The history of this person has been updated. What? I tried to use character list once again as a test. Character information. Name. Young Min Sob. Age. 25 years old. Constellation. Support. Cursed Gladiator. Private attribute. Light projection, rare, 1089th person to get off general. Exclusive skills, sword training LB. 2, powerful blow LB. 2, berserk LB. 3, memory enhancement LB. 5, stigma, repay grudges LB. 1, overall stats, physique LB. 18, strength LB. 16, agility LB. 12, magic power LB. 10, overall evaluation, an incarnation that possesses good comprehensive skills and attributes. His sponsor is a bit lacking but his ability as a warrior is considerable. He would have been one of the twelve apostles if he had been a bit more patient. He is very regretful. What did it mean that the character list was updated? A person I wasn't able to see the attributes window of yesterday suddenly became a character. He was a prophet. In other words, a character outside the novel. Why did he suddenly change into a character? Oh, my attribute is. No need. Yes. I also confirmed the attributes of Lee Sung Kuk. Fortunately, his attributes were the same. Hypnotist and ninth person to get off, the latter was garbage but the former was a pretty good attribute. Give me your smartphone. Yep. Here it is. I received a smartphone from one of them and connected to the chat room. Ah, the internet didn't work. 
Yesterday it was disconnected. The character, Han Donghoon, used, wide area internet LB, 5 feet on your smartphone. The device's internet is now available. As soon as I thought it, the internet was connected. I glanced towards the tent where Han Donghoon was located. There was a vibration from the smartphone, indicating that a message had arrived. I'm going to believe in you just once. Maybe something changed with Han Donghoon after what happened last night. I had been really worried about it so I was glad. I sent a reply to Han Donghoon. Thank you. Sooner or later, I would have a chance to talk to him. I once again opened Lee Sungkook's smartphone to the Prophet's chat room. Chat room. List of participants. No. 9. 15 I feel like dying. 124 let's drop off. No. 763, 887 get off, number 645, a total of 36 people. I looked at the numbers in their names and got a sense of who they were. But something was strange. 36 people. Young Minsov answered my question. All the prophets in the room stopped reading early. There are no apostles. I see. By the way, Representative Nim. Didn't you say it yesterday? You should have read to the end, then do you know all of the book of Revelation? I looked at the expectant young Minsov and laughed. I knew. Do you know? You won't regret taking my line instead of you Jonghyuks. After a while, we headed to Angok Station while avoiding the surrounding conflict areas. It was because the Night of the Prophets was scheduled to be held. I spied on these guys through Lee Sungkook's smartphone. Dash. No. 519. Really? Yu Jonghyuk is coming this evening. No. 67. There is no doubt. Number 9 and No. 1089 said it yesterday. 887 get off, the 9th is a newcomer but I can believe it if it is the 1089th. 124 let's drop off, this time they will all be behind us. 887 get off, number 124, you are in Seoul KK how can those jerks fall behind you? 124 let's drop off, ah, except for me of course, local residents, victory carrot carrot b. 887 get off. I would like to be a regressor, if I had read the novel at that time, no, if I had only read up to 50, I'm jealous of those apostles scum. 15 I feel like dying, but don't you think the people who read over 50 chapters are abnormal? I don't know how they read to over 50. KKK. 124 let's drop off, real psychos KKKK. Dash. As expected, humans who hid behind anonymity would reveal the truth. Perhaps the number before the nickname was where they stopped reading. Dash. No. 888. But are you sure? There is no TXT version of this novel. No. 124. A few days ago, I searched the internet and there was really nothing left. Ah, a novel without a TXT. Tears. No. 763. Even if you had a copy, you wouldn't share such a fraudulent thing. If I could really sell my soul, I would buy it. Dash. The idea of trying to read ways of survival popped up. These guys, they should have read it with me at that time. Now they didn't know the days ahead. We've arrived. I was about to say, what, already? When I saw the platform of Angok Station in front of me. The prophets who arrived in advance could also be seen. But something was strange. Nobody has occupied this place. Yes, it is a promise between the prophets. It could be dangerous to meet at an occupied station. It is sort of like the DMZ. Then a prophet approached and waved. Hey, no. 1089. Oh, it is number 763 hung. Young Minsov waved and welcomed the person. How have you been? You face doesn't look good. Well spotted. The tyrant kill is giving me hell. I told you not to advance towards the Dobong side. Why didn't you listen? Number 763 glanced towards me and his face suddenly stiffened. P perhaps, he is. Young Minsov nodded. No 763's eyes showed astonishment. I it is really an honor. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. The uproar caused the scattered prophets to gather one by one. Is that? The prophets ran together and pushed in front of me. There were also a few female prophets. He looks better than I imagined. I am no. 998. It is great to meet you, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. I'm no. 1055. This, I felt like a real king. Their shining eyes wanted to win my favor somehow. I wondered what they would all look like when they realized I wasn't really Yu Jong Hyuk. Most of them weren't worth paying attention to. Their knowledge of the future was dim and their abilities were poor. Yet there were some prominent people. It was very impressive when you fought against demon King Asmodeus in the second regression. Ho. Oh, it was mentioned briefly in the book of Revelations, now that I've met you Jonghyuk Nim, I feel like hearing about it from you. 
Ways of Survival started with Yu Jonghyuk's third regression and all the stories from the second regression were treated as recollections. Yet this guy knew about Asmodeus. Why was he so impressed when he didn't read until the end? Who are you? I am no. 1168. Then he almost read to the 50th chapter. Perhaps he was the one who read the most out of those present. No 1168 asked me, excuse me, is it you Jong Hyuk Nim's third turn right now? That's right. Ah, as expected. Some prophets had dark expressions. Yes, I knew. Ways of survival was an infinite loop so those who discovered that it was early on in Yu Jong Hyuk's regressions would be quite disappointed. These jerks, they only got the cute side of Yu Jong Hyuk in the beginning, in any case, those who didn't read until the end weren't satisfied. Then there was a disturbance behind me. Lee Hunsung Nim. Steel Sword Lee Hunsung. Lee Hunsung blushed as he was surrounded by people. W what are you doing? I'm not the steel, I'm not that. Wow, just like a real revelation. Look at those biceps. Oh, Satat. Lee Hunsung had a good looking face and was quite popular among the female prophets. At that time, one passing prophet showed interest in Yung Hee Wan. Excuse, perhaps, are you Maritime Admiral Lee Jai Hee? No. Then are you? I am Yung Hee Wan. Why? Ah, I see. The disappointed prophet moved past Yung Hee Wan towards Lee Hun Sung. Yung Hee Wan looked at the situation and spoke to me in group chat. Why, isn't anyone interested in me? Hee Wan SSI isn't famous in the future. Che. So do well from now on. I turned away from the miserable Yung Hee Wan. I came to the night of the prophets for a reason. I couldn't waste time talking like this. Where is the weapon? Huh, the weapon you have hidden. I will check it first. Ah, here it is. The 763th prophet excitedly moved to the center of the platform and removed the cloth covering something. There was a big stone present. I remembered the moment I saw the meteor shower on the roof of the theater. No, wait a minute. Is that a meteorite? Haha, ha, that's right. At this point, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim might not know, according to the Book of Revelation, it contained a powerful weapon. A weapon. Yes, that's correct. Maybe it is a weapon like a top-ranking star relic. Doesn't the meteorite need hatching time and can't be used now? Haha, ha, we have a rotation that will provide magic power. It will hatch tonight at the latest. We have been working on it for a few days. I became colder as I looked at this proud bastard. A red pattern. It was nonsense. This thing shouldn't be known until at least the fourth regression. Which bastard gave you the information? Huh, that person who brought the meteorite to you. Oh, that? No 1124, he was the first one. No. 1124, a person who stopped reading early on knew this information. Where is he? Young Minsob looked around the place and muttered. Uh, I guess he hasn't come yet. The informant didn't come. I thought for a moment before opening my mouth. We have to get out of here. It was a trap. Huh, right now. This was the first time I got a cold sweat since ways of survival became a reality and since meeting Yu Jong Hyuk the first time. This was a weapon. Who was stupid enough to think like this? I glanced around at the prophets staring at me with naive eyes. Then the platform started vibrating. Cuckooking. I looked at the trembling, meteorite, and stepped back. I had come here to sweep away the prophets, only to be the one swept away. W what is this? Young Minsob made a stupid noise. Damn it. The fourth scenario hadn't even ended and the disaster of the fifth scenario was about to appear. I shouted toward Young Hee-won and Lee Hun-sung. Run away. This was why I couldn't trust those who didn't read to the end. Due to these damn people who got off early, today became all wrong. Chapter 52. Episode 11 Night of the Prophets 4. A red aura appeared around the meteorite and glowing lights shot all over the platform. Oh. Finally. A prophet screamed. Yung Hee Wan and Lee Hun Sung quickly approached me. Run away. What? It was too late. The red aura spread across the platform and a faint veil surrounded the station. Now none of the prophets would be able to leave Angok Station. The constellations protest against the excessive filtering. Many constellations' eyes are shining at the, omen. The constellation, prisoner of the golden headband, is watching the situation with curious eyes. The constellation, secretive plotter, is expecting your brilliant strategy. The constellations were excited and sent me indirect messages. The most dangerous situation in the world of ways of survival was one where the constellations were partying. I asked the nervous young Minsob, was no 1124 the one who suggested that you gather here today? Huh, I don't know. We all agreed together. I felt clogged up, like someone had fed me 10 sweet potatoes. I couldn't believe things had gone this far. 
Everybody move behind me. I paid attention the meteorite while protecting them. Aren't we running away? We can't go. If you look behind, you can see a ward. Huh. What ward? I didn't answer as. I stared at the meteorite in the center of the platform. Meteorite was the main event in the fifth scenario. The danger sleeping inside the meteorite would differ depending on the color, brightness, size and type. However, the meteorite I was looking at now was one that should never hatch. They seemed confused because the meteorite that gave the star relic in the third regression was, bright red. I wonder what star relic will appear. That, some prophets hadn't noticed yet and touched the meteorite. An omen of the fifth main scenario has appeared. Then the message popped up. Hey, what is this? Why suddenly the main scenario? The surface of the meteorite cracked and a red light poured out. The first thing the light touched was the prophet staring at the meteorite with wonder. The body of the prophet who lost his head slowly fell to the ground like a broken doll. What is going on? The prophets screamed and retreated, but they were already unable to escape the crisis. I took the party with me as I retreated to the edge and observed the situation. I remembered seeing this type of meteorite in ways of survival but it was tricky to know what would come out. Please, don't let it be that, disaster. The meteorite cracked and red lava poured out. The surrounding platform burned and released a bad smell. Then the temperature of the air rose rapidly and breathing became painful. The surrounding environment was changing. This, a lava zone. It meant, the fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon igneal, has appeared. Fuck. What? The star relic. Several confused prophets belatedly used skills. However, the meteorite stretched out a long tail and caught a few escaping prophets. Kuik. The body of the prophet that caught by the tail suddenly burned up. Some prophets used skills to attack the tail but their weapons started to melt. T this monster. The meteorite was at most 2 meters in length, but the monster crawling out from the gap was over 5 meters long. Yung Hiwan asked. What the hell is this? It is a disaster. Disaster. The remainder of the meteorite split apart and a dragon species entered this dimension. Kwu. A violent dragon that was just born. Despite being a deteriorated version of a hatchling, a dragon still reigned at the apex of all monsters. A sixth grade monster could wipe out all the prophets here and this was a fifth grade fire dragon. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Some of the prophets called out to me and all attention was still focused this way. I frowned. The incident was caused by them yet they wanted me to solve it. Get back to the edges. Like an obedient puppy, everyone moved to a corner of the platform. The guys who were quick were already running upstairs from the platform. But, shit, there's a ward. The lesser dragon was a, disaster. In a situation where a disaster appeared, the size of the despair was different. At least, this was the pattern I knew. Among Yu Jong Hyuk's numerous regressions, he had definitely faced this guy. I looked at the party members. A hidden scenario will soon start. Hidden scenario. This is a guy who shouldn't have come out in the fourth scenario. It has an unusual difficulty so there will soon be an intervention. In order to respond to this disaster, various benefits were needed in the fifth scenario. For example, if the blue meteorite came out. But now we had nothing. Yes, something had to be given to balance us. Some constellations are complaining about the unusual scenario difficulty. Indeed. The next moment, sparks flew in the air and a small childlike presence appearance. It wasn't a low-grade Dokabi like Bihyang. He wore a tidy suit with two little horns on his head. He was an impressive guy with a small lump protruding from his side pocket. I didn't know his name but I knew what he was. He was an intermediate Dokabi. Herm. This is difficult. How did you guys get this, Root? It was only installed recently. Once his voice rang out, the movements of the lesser dragon stopped. Indeed, it was possible for an intermediate Dokabi to intervene in the scenario to this level. A disaster woke up in the fourth scenario. The emergence of an intermediate Dokabi meant that the early scenarios had almost come to an end. As long as he took notice of this place, I would barely be able to see the contract benefits with Bihyang. Some constellations are poisonous so I can't spare you, it is also hard to downgrade the difficulty. His gaze focused on me. But this isn't right. We haven't cleared the fourth scenario. One prophet shouted. I could see the prophets around him quickly covering his mouth. There was nothing good about yelling at a Dokabi right now. I have decided. I won't downgrade the difficulty. The prophets glared at the Dokabi. There was only the sound of breathing. They had read ways of survival so they would know. The Dokabi couldn't overturn the laws. But they also knew this. Still, it won't be interesting if you all die this way. I will use my discretion to change the scenario content. 
The Dokubi was more talkative than I thought. The hidden scenario has arrived. The lesser dragon started moving again. The red leather covered paws hit the floor of the platform. I avoided the scattered debris and looked at the scenario that arrived. Plus. Hidden scenario. United you die. Scattered you die. Category. Hidden. Difficulty. A. Uh, clear conditions. Within the time limit, hunt down the lesser dragon Igneal, or survive his attacks. Time limit, 20 minutes. Compensation, 3,000 coins. Failure, death. Hidden pieces are hidden in this mission. Plus, a 20-minute survival mission. From the title to the contents, it was ridiculous. Lee Hunsung asked, do we have to hunt him? No, don't even dream about it. This disaster is a disaster for a reason. Even the real Yu Jong Hyuk couldn't catch a fifth grade fire dragon. I looked at the situation on the platform. Flowing flames started pouring out. K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A-K-W-A. Kuik. The prophets caught in the flames turned to ashes. The walls burned by the flames melted and distorted terribly. He was slowly moving to this side. Everyone run counterclockwise. I opened my mouth and ran ahead of the rotation direction. Fortunately, Yung Hee Won and Lee Hun Sung followed me well. Yung Min Sob and Lee Sung Kuk were a bit behind but they still seemed okay. This time, we avoided it because I knew the pattern. The problem was that this type of attack wouldn't always occur. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is preparing the flames of destruction. It had started. We somehow avoided the general attack but the crisis came now. Look for a foothold. Yes. Number 5, 4, 2 and 3. Anyway, just quickly find something that adds up to 5. A hidden piece is activated. Numerical footholds are activated. Once the appropriate number of people enters the foothold, Absolute Shield can be activated in 10 seconds. Absolute Shield won't activate when the number on the foothold is exceeded. The prophets all heard this system message. At the same time, footholds the size of two Pyong appeared all over the station. Footholds. Ah, right. There is a hidden piece. I looked at the moving prophets and bit my lips. The giggling constellations reflected in my eyes. Why did many constellations protest against the difficulty of the scenario? It was simple. There was no fun in a story with, only death. They didn't want ants being trampled by a giant. These guys wanted the ants to fight back to survive. In order to live, the ants would even bit at their kin. Many constellations are watching the situation with excited eyes. Damn constellation scum. Shit. Go. Kuhayayak. The prophets, who had called each other's numbers in a friendly manner, now wielded their weapons against each other to fight over the footholds with the number, one. Some prophets collapsed bleeding as they approached a foothold. The swift prophets were already stepping on the footholds, strengthening their alertness. I kept an eye on them. Someone had clearly planned this trap. Maybe they were the apostles. They knew the prophets would gather her and decided to use this opportunity to wipe out those who stopped reading early. It was a good idea. No matter how trivial the information, the fewer who knew the future, the better. Usually, the apostles would be laughing at the prophets from far away. If they were, ordinary, people. Those who read more than 50 chapters of a boring novel weren't normal. They called themselves apostles and were greedy enough to control information. If they were intelligent enough to use the red meteor as a trap, wouldn't they know how to overcome the disaster? If I was like this. Representative Nim. There is no foothold. There is nothing here. Yung Hiwan and Yung Min Sob cried out urgently. There were no footholds in the place where Out Party was located. Oh, there is one here. But, the foothold that was barely found had an ominous number. Four. In other words, only four people could survive on that foothold. But our party had five people. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is using the flames of destruction. A huge spark started from the center of the platform and started to spread throughout the station. It was a lesser dragon's full attack skill. The heat was enough to burn my skin despite being so far away. If the shield wasn't activated now, my party would be destroyed. Our representative Nim, Lee Sungkook and Yung Min Sob trembled as they met my gaze. I grasped the handle of unbroken faith. At that moment, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, I looked back and saw one prophet. The number, two, was written on his foothold. Despite the urgent situation, this man still looked relaxed. Come this way. This guy. A few memories passed by quickly. I ran towards him while shouting at the people behind him. Activate the shield. Absolute shield is activated. Quoo. Then the flames burned everything on the platform. If it had touched me just a little bit then I would have melted. Sigh. I'm glad. The man who triggered the shield at breathtaking timing sighed with relief. I asked him, who are you? 
The man laughed lightly. I'm disappointed. Have you already forgotten? I am no. 1168. About Asmodeus. I remembered. He was the one who spoke to me about Demon King Asmodeus. That isn't my question. The eyes of No. 1168 shook. I hadn't thought about it before. The scene of the confrontation between Demon King Asmodeus and Yu Jonghyuk. To be precise, the second regression Yu Jonghyuk was one-sidedly beaten by the Demon King. It was a scene I remembered because I really liked it. However, this recollection didn't appear before Chapter 50. I could say it with certainty as the full reader of Ways of Survival. I pulled out my blade and opened my mouth. I will ask you again. Who are you? Due to the effect of your exclusive attribute, the memory effect of some scenes have increased. The story of Demon King Asmodeus appeared exactly in Chapter 57 of Ways of Survival. A crack started to spread in this man's relaxed expression. Chapter 53. Episode 11 Night of the Prophets 5. The self-styled No. 1168 looked at the flames beyond the shield and asked. My identity. What are you talking about suddenly? Have you forgotten? I have Sage's eyes. In fact, this guy's information wasn't available to me. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. The information of this person can't be read in, character list. This person isn't registered in, character list. What was the difference between an updated person and a non-updated person? I still didn't know the exact reason why. But whatever the reason was, deceiving this person wasn't difficult. It was because he believed I was Yu Jonghyuk. I didn't think Yu Jonghyuk Nim would notice. You are an apostle. Right. That's right. You already knew it. The fact that he said it so easily meant there were ulterior motives. This is a trap. Is it because of the butterfly effect? Haha, ha, that's right. I wondered if my words were funny as No. 1168 smiled and looked at the other people around. If there are a lot of flying butterflies, unnecessary storms will happy. The prophets who couldn't find a foothold were melting like moths in the midst of the flames. The terrible screams and the information they knew disappeared into dust. It was the price they paid for trying to obtain a star relic without the proper information. You are killing the larva before they become butterflies. The larva that are about to become pupa are the easiest to kill. The fierce heat died down and the chemical reactions in the surrounding area were subsiding. The absolute shield was soon turned off. After one minute, the positions of the footholds will be recreated. The hidden scenario would end when footholds appeared ten times and they survived the attacks. We had just passed one so there were nine left. I tried pressing against the shield with my feet. The heat was high but it was enough to endure. Representative Nim. I waved my hand to stop those running from afar. Now wasn't the time to take care of them. The attack patterns are familiar so please learn them and avoid them on your own. I can't take care of you right now. The party members noticed something strange and stopped moving. In a situation where the power of the apostles wasn't clear, it was dangerous to drag them with me. No 1168 looked at me and said, this isn't like what I saw in the book of Revelations. Is this really your third regression? Shut up. Where did you get off? Herm. You would know if you checked it yourself. I like a person who is the same on the outside. I can't make a deal with a person who has two different sides. The apostle's eyes widened. How interesting. There must be a reason why you would so easily identify yourself. The tail of the lesser dragon flew through the air and struck the spot where we were. It was easy for me to avoid it with my over level 30 agility. However, no 1168's astute movements were amazing. I triggered calm observation that I got from Theater Dungeon. It was a skill I saved for those who character list didn't work on. His perspiration, speed, breathing interval, the sum of his physical body stats was around 49 to 50. It was a significant level among the prophets I had seen. I moved behind him and he opened his mouth. I'll formally greet you. I'm no. 1195. Among the apostles, I am the fifth apostle. The number of views for Ways of Survival's first chapter was 1200. If he was 1,195, he was among the top five of the latest people to stop reading. Then he knew about the red meteorite. What is your purpose? Do you also need my help? Hoo hoo. To save you Jong Hyuk Nim, what would you say to that? It is more plausible than the lie about mosquitoes becoming butterflies. Indeed, you have lie detection. He licked his dry lips. Should I do it now? No. A little bit more. Just listen a bit more. However, I'm not lying about my desire to save you Jong Hyuk Nim. Things would be difficult if you die here. The revelations will be greatly ruined. You knew I was coming. We discovered it a few hours ago. Therefore, we hurriedly revised the plan. There were sparks and a few more prophets near us died. 
There were still those who were hanging on. It was like they knew the patterns of the lesser dragon. I kept an eye on those people. Originally, we had no plans to participate. If only Yu Yu Zhang Hyuk Nim wasn't here. So, don't you already know the answer? The positions of the footholds will be created. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is preparing the flames of destruction. My party members successful found footholds this time. The apostle and I also found a foothold that fit two people. To be precise, the apostle tossed the person already occupying it out with force. The drops of blood landed on the brutal apostle. He wiped it off and said, we have to slay the lesser dragon. Coo 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 coo. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is using the flames of destruction. The absolute shield activated and once again blocked the flames. Whoo. Only two stages had occurred but there were less than a quarter profits remaining. The party members had been keeping pace but it was uncertain how long they would last. A hidden peace penalty has occurred. The number of footholds created in the next turn will be reduced. I spoke with narrowed eyes, with your power alone. It is possible. I have prepared enough. I felt uneasy as I heard his confident voice. That reminded me, he was shedding a single drop of sweat in this heat. A bluish chill spread over his skin. This was, I see. Their preparations were outstanding. It is the ice pill. That's right. A pill that had a certain probability of appearing when a 7th grade elemental species was hunted in the Gangseo GU area stations. They already managed to get their hands on this pill. It would release a powerful ice attribute for at least 30 minutes. In other words, they had a foundation to hurt the lesser dragon. The problem was the attack power. It is impossible with you alone. Who said I was alone? I looked at the survivors. There were a few people I was particularly keeping an eye on. I looked closer and saw that their bodies were covered with a bluish chill. Hoo hoo, how can I come here alone? I counted and there were five of them. They had committed half their power for this operation. The five apostles must have confidence after eating the five ice pills. But, a few more people won't make a big difference. That's why I am seeking help. I will give an ice pill to you Jong Hyuk Nim if you decide to help us. If I refuse, all of you Jong Hyuk Nim's party members here will die. Do you think you will be safe like that? Even if we can't take care of the lesser dragon, we can at least take care of our bodies. He was brimming with confidence. They would have already lost their heads if I was the real Yu Jong Hyuk. Do you think I am worried about my party members? People die anyway. I can gather other people. I raised unbroken faith to his neck. Then he shook his head. Hoo hoo, you are truly like the revelations. But you better think carefully. What do you mean? By now, Yu Jong Hyuk Nim's main base would have entered our hands. What? Maritime Admiral. Lee Jaehee, a child who uses strange abilities. And one of the ten evils. It is different from the original revelation but you have made a fairly good party. If they all die, won't Yu Jong Hyuk Nim face problems starting again? They had already investigated up to here. These bastards. Won't it be worse if we take away Chung Yuro Station? Right now, it is just a proposal. But don't think this proposal will last forever. Our group has already completed the King's Road scenario by taking over 10 stations. You should know the gap between a group with a king, and a group without a king. Quote ellipsis quote. Perhaps the situation would already be over by now. The king will be waiting for Yu Jong Hyuk Nim's choice in front of Chung Yuro's flag holder. I see. I knew their plan. These guys, they planned to hit Chung Yuro from the moment they received information I was coming to the Night of the Prophets. If you pledge to join us, we will promise the safety of your party as well as our full support in the future. This is a promise on the king's honor. My heart was pounding from the precise threat. They were actually this bold against Yu Jong Hyuk. It was rare to find this in someone who read Ways of Survival. Who is your king? Where did they get off? Hem, the king dislikes being called someone who, got off. So what do you call them? Even if you are Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, please refrain from speaking about him like that. He is the only one among the prophets who has read all the revelations. He knows both Yu Jong Hyuk's past and future. What? I was surprised for a moment but didn't greatly panic. This was interesting. There was another reader who read all of the novel. Laughter emerged. It was a ridiculing laugh. It was because there absolutely couldn't be such a thing. Quoo. Finally, the third attack of the fire dragon was about to begin. I looked at the apostle and quietly stepped out of the foothold. The bewildered apostle asked as I walked forward. Yu Jong Hyuk Nim, what are you doing? The party members far away were also surprised. I waved my hands. Don't worry. 
No matter what happens, you absolutely can't move from there, understood. I walked in the direction of the lesser dragon. It was with slow but sure steps. The fire dragon stared ferociously at me as it prepared the flames of destruction. What are you doing? Come back. The apostle behind me hastily exclaimed. I turned around and smiled at him. Did the king tell you about this future? As I listened to him, I kept thinking. These guys shouldn't be alive. But they had a strategy, and I couldn't kill them all by myself. If so, I laughed and continued talking. You guys, have you forgotten what my stigma is? If I was them, what would they fear the most right now? I'm not afraid of death. I can just start over again. The answer was simple. They believed I was Yu Jonghyuk. If that was the case, I wonder, what will the effect be on you? You are unusual presences in this turn. The most fearful thing to them was what I feared most. If I die here, will you exist in the next turn? Or will you end with this world? They didn't want Yu Jonghyuk to die. If you really read the revelations, you should know the answer right. The apostles' faces paled. There were times when it was easier to handle those who used their heads. Yu Jonghyuk. The five apostles moved from the footholds and started to run towards me. I knew it. No matter how unconcerned they pretended to be, they were people who, got off, and were caught up in this scenario. What would happen to them in a world where the protagonist was dead? They didn't know. Catch him quickly. Just like me. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon. Igneal, is using the, flames of destruction. The moment that flames burst out from the center of the platform, I exploded all the strength in my muscles and ran towards the legs of the dragon. Then I put my flag into the flag holder of Angok Station located there. You have occupied Angok Station. Currently occupied, Chungmuro, Main Base Myeongdong, Dongdaemun History and Culture Park, Dongdaemun, Dongmyo, Sindang Station, Cheonggu Station, Yaksu Station, Sinsialdong Station, Angok Station. The achievement points of the brown flag are rising. You have occupied 10 stations. The hidden scenario, King's Road, has been achieved. Depending on the path you walk, you will receive a new, King, attribute. King of arrogance and hypocrisy. King of solitude and taste. King of no killing. Dot. I replied without reading the rising options. King of no killing. The new attribute, King of no killing has been obtained. This was enough. I hadn't wanted to do this but it was necessary to get rid of the people here. The apostles discovered the flames and hurried back to the footholds. However, it was already too late. You should have been careful. You only have one life. The wave of flames covered them. It was an attack that couldn't be endured even if they ate the ice pill. The durability of the external enhanced suit has decreased dramatically. The durability of the external enhanced suit has run out. My vision soon became dim. There was the feeling of flesh being burnt and I lost consciousness. You have died. Dot. Dot. A moment later, a system message was heard. The privilege of the king of no killing is activated. Chapter 54. Episode 12 First Person Protagonist Point of View 1. One of the most painful deaths in the world was burning to death and I had just experienced it. The neurons in my brain seemed to emit light at once. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, has attenuated the mental pain. The pain was slowly reduced. It was once again the fourth wall. I always felt strange when I escaped from trouble with the help of this skill. Ways of survival had become a reality and I was living in it. Then, what was this, wall, that I felt every time? Dot. No, these thoughts were futile. I was safe thanks to the attribute, king of no killing, and had to move again. It was an attribute that could be gained only when the conditions of king of no killing was met. Unlike its name, the privilege of the attribute was more like, immortality, than, no death. It was conditional but, in any case, I would soon return to my flesh. At least that was what I thought. Due to a conflict error with your exclusive skill, the privilege of king of no killing would be delayed. Huh. A skill conflict error. Thanks to your death, your consciousness has been completely liberated from the constraints of your body. Exclusive skill, omniscient reader's viewpoint stage 3 has been activated. I was overcome with a dizzy feeling. No, wait a minute. What was happening this time? Damn, if only it wasn't him. The dizziness flooded in and my vision brightened. Then I was watching a, scene. Gong Pildu licked his lips as he observed the people around the platform. Now he couldn't run away. He thought about it but he knew better than anyone that he didn't have the courage to do so. Um, Dok Yahung. There was a weight pressing against his knee and Gong Pildu looked down. It was a boy around 10 years or so. There was a boy sleeping on his thigh. Why am I like this? 
Gompildu wondered as he looked down at the sleepy Li Giliang. His old memories surfaced. A young child. Li Giliang was his daughter's age. He shook his head and sighed. Pildu SSI, we should stop now. Daddy, how long are you going to keep talking about land? There was a time when he was the breadwinner of the family. He earned money to feed his family and buy land. If he was lucky, he would become a landlord and then get tenants. Finally, he became a big investor in Chungmuro but it didn't take long to find out that he couldn't keep his small family. Isn't this surprisingly okay? You get along well with people. He looked up to see a beauty with a nice face. Yu Sangha. Two days ago, this woman had become the deputy of Chungmuro. Quickly stop talking nonsense. You were smiling just now. Gong Pildu made a look of distaste. Yu Sangha sat down hesitantly next to Gong Pildu. A juicy, how many times did you buy land? What? When I look at the people in the landlord alliance, only you are the one with the landowner attribute. It isn't good to have a lot of land. It needs to be good land. You are naive. Then what is good land? Expensive land is good land. What type of land is expensive? It is land that many people want. Was your land like that? Yes. It wasn't land that he wanted. Gong Pildu looked into Yu Sangha's eyes. This woman's curiosity had an oddly sharp corner. She was smiling on the outside but he couldn't help feeling uncomfortable. Duduk. Duck. Duck. Then a sound was heard in the distance. Yu Sangha's expression hardened while Li Giliang woke up in a flash from where he was sleeping on Gong Pildu's knees. The antennae of the cockroach on his back shook. Coo 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 coo. Line 4, the tunnel from Hoyang. Something was coming this way. Yu Sangha stood up while Gong Pildu used a skill. The character, Gong Pildu, has activated, arm zone LB. 8. Gong Pildu bit his lips. This might be an intuition only rich landowners got. There was something like that. Hey, huddle up. It was the feeling of someone trying to take away his land. Do 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 do. Gong Pildu turrets fired all at once into the darkness and something fell. They were ground rats. The enemy. Gather around Gong Pildu SSI. We will go with the large scale exercise we practiced in the morning. Yu Sangha called out and the people scattered on the platform ran. Group A is near the turrets, Group B will be at the center of the gunfire and Group C will be protecting Gong Pildu SSI. The people moved in the orderly ranks that they had practiced in advance. The ground rats collapsed due to the people's quick response. It was much easier than when emergency defense was taking place. As the dozens of ground rats collapsed on the ground, the same thought entered the minds of the Chungyuro members. It was easy. It truly was worth everyone cooperating. Then they heard a voice from the tunnel. As expected, Hamlin's flute isn't enough. How can the ninth grade species compare to a place eaten by Yu Jonghyuk? A group of people appeared from the darkness. Four men and one woman. Gong Pildu's expression hardened. He didn't know the reason. However, one thing was for certain. These guys were different from the ones they had dealt with so far. Damn it. Quickly call the samurai girl. I am already here. There was a cold feeling as Li Jaihe came down from where she had been. And don't call me a samurai. If you don't want to get beaten up. Despite the grumpy answer, Gong Pildu felt a bit calmer. Li Jaihe was a great power. Yet Gong Pildu still felt uneasy. He was anxious and growled like a frightened beast. Who are you? Where did you come from? It is real. The maritime admiral and armed fortress master has become a team. It wasn't an answer that came back but words that were close to mocking. Gong Pildu asked, what nonsense are you? Saying, quickly go back. Otherwise I will shoot to kill. However, the five men and women didn't look at Gong Pildu. They just continued talking to each other. Who is on the dragon side? Numbers 5, 6, 8 and 9. They aren't apostles but they are pretty good. With the exception of the one outside soul, there are five of us left. The five of us are enough. Quickly sweep them away. The first one who came forward was a man in his 30s with a bulging belly. He was a man with the number, 7, on his shoulders. He had thick eyebrows and looked at Li Jaihai's white legs like they were to his taste. I will take the maritime admiral. She isn't a big deal without the sea. What are you bastards saying? Li Jaihe cried out sharply and rushed forward. Gong Pildu realized it couldn't be helped and infused magic power into the turrets. Damn, just go to hell. Do 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 do. The man with a, four, on his cloak laughed. As expected from one of the ten evils. If we came a bit later, we would have been swept away. Numbers 3 and 4. You two take Gong Pildu. Be vigilant and attack the turrets one by one. The man with a, three, on his forehead nodded. Yes. I understand. 
one of the ten evils can be handled by both of us. Number two, you handle the rest. The woman with a, two, on her cheek frowned. She was holding a small flute in her hand. Why do I have to handle such petty reason? It is the most appropriate for you. What are you going to do? Then the man with a, one, on the dark cloak opened his mouth. I will be taking the flag holder. The moment of immersion was broken and consciousness returned. Now it all made sense. Omniscient reader's viewpoint. I had a similar experience the last time I was in the ichthyosaur's stomach. At that time, I saw Yu Jonghyuk. By the way, it was amazing. I thought I had prepared for the apostles but it wasn't enough. I was able to guess their thoroughness just from the items they brought. There was Hamlin's flute that could control the ground rats and the magic power bullet shield that could defend against Gong Pildu's attack. They really wanted to capture Chungyuro, obtain Yu Jonghyuk and devour this world. But it wouldn't be so easy. W what? Was the maritime admiral this strong in the beginning? Hey, isn't something wrong? It was the seventh apostle who cried out first. Lee Jaihai's sharp sword pushed the seventh apostle back little by little. It was natural. The current Lee Jaihi was much stronger than the Lee Jaihi in the original, third turn. Damn, why are these two turrets so hard? Number three and four were in trouble. The second apostle playing Hamlin's flute was also struggling due to Yu Sangus binding thread and Lee Gilyoung's Mjolnir's thunder. In the end, it was the first apostle who came forward. He frowned before pulling something out and lighting it. Then he threw it at the Chungyuro party. Kwong. There was a loud roar and Chungyuro's platform was covered with explosions. I was startled. This son of a bitch. Mass destruction magic bullet. It was hard to deal huge damage to top monsters but against humans, it was the most powerful weapon of mass destruction. It was a weapon that could be made with some items that appeared in the Gangseo and Gangnam areas, as well as some items bought from the Dokabi bag. Then he was the king of the apostles. The purple flag on his back proved it. The dust settled down, revealing the Chungyuro platform. My chest was becoming stuffy. If the apostles had this then the situation was unfavorable. The dust cleared and the fallen Chungyuro group members were seen. People were coughing up blood. Yu Senga and Lee Gilyoung were lying on their floor. Even Gong Pildu couldn't completely avoid getting injured despite using protective wall. Phew, now it looks good. Right. The seventh apostle grabbed Lee Jaihai's head while her uniform was torn. She was in the front and received the biggest blow from the explosion. Aren't you just a supporting actor, huh? Bastards. Cough. Lee Jaihi screamed as she was punched in the stomach. Can I have this girl? What will you do with her? There is no time. What will I do? Looking back, isn't she destined to follow the main character and be miserable? Then I would rather. Lee Jaihi's small body shook in the air like a rag doll. Her lips were trembling. She was staring at me. He. L.P. Me. Impulsive anger filled my head. It was unlike me. Lee Jaihi was clearly just a character. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, is activated. Excessive immersion has restricted some of the features of fourth wall. I was too immersed. I became dizzy and nauseous. Excessive immersion lads to a profound increase in the proficiency of omniscient reader's viewpoint. Changing your viewpoint to first person. My consciousness narrowed and stretched like a rubber band. Then I opened my eyes. I was really in Chungyuro. How? Lee Jaihi was looking at me with shaky eyes. It wasn't just her. At this moment, everyone on the platform was watching me. My field of view moved slowly. I walked towards Lee Jaihi. To be exact, my body was moving regardless of my will. One step, another step. Slowly but steadily, I was closing the distance to her. The seventh apostle frowned and asked, You are. I was uncomfortable, like I was wearing clothes that didn't fit my body. The height of my gaze was different from usual as well as my five senses. At this moment, I realized who, I, was. I couldn't help laughing. I disliked it. I really disliked it. Lee Jaihai's lips moved a little bit. Ah. My hand gripped the hilt of the sword like it was something I had done millions of times. The grip of my fingers was strange. It was natural and beautiful. I was thrilled with the fantastic feeling that I felt for the first time in my life. The blade moved silently. No one could see anything. Just. It went through something. Something was cut off. Something fell to the ground. Some people were shocked while other people's mouths dropped open. The seventh apostle holding onto Lee Jaihi slowly sank down. Blood gushed from his neck. My hands moved and I caught the falling body of Lee Jaihi. Ah, ah. I lightly placed Lee Jaihi down on the platform. I raised my eyes and saw the apostles looking this way. The first one to speak was the third apostle. You. Who are you? How funny. 
It was a stupid question. I slowly opened my mouth. It was like I was this guy from the start. I am Yu Jonghyuk, the coldest and loneliest voice in the world. The sleeping prince had finally woken up from his deep sleep. And you shall die here. Now Chungmuro would be safe. Dot, dot. My consciousness escaped from Yu Jonghyuk's body and slowly returned to its original body. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 3 has been turned off. The skill conflict error is normalized. The delayed privilege of the king of no killing has reappeared. Your body is resurrected from death. Chapter 55, Episode 12 First Person Protagonist Point of View 2. The recreation of your flesh has begun. Just like falling paint spread out, my vision slowly cleared. The surrounding contrast and saturation were unclear. By bones, capillaries, digestive and respiratory tract and my whole eyes regenerated. My senses were confused because they still hadn't found their place. In any case, I could rest assured about Chungyuro. No matter how strong the apostles were, they wouldn't be able to defeat Yu Jonghyuk who was stronger than the original. By the way, it was a truly unique experience. I shared a first-person point of view with Yu Jonghyuk. If possible, I didn't want to do it again. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, offsets the mental shock caused by your death. Compensation is being prepared for the omniscient reader's viewpoint stage 3. Usage compensation. I could see Young Hee Won shouting from afar. Her face was astounded as Lee Hun Sung held onto her. Young Min Sob and Lee Sung Kook were in shock when they looked over here. Fortunately, they were all safe. I wasn't too late. Dokya SSI. Young Hee Won forgot and cried out my name. Kyao. In fact, there was no need to hide it anymore. Air flowed into my newly created lungs. There was still the merciless lesser dragon in the vicinity. As expected from Yu Jong Hyuk Nim. Did he use a divine restoration pill? These cries came from the few prophets who had survived. Of course, I didn't have a divine recovery. Reviving from death was completely different to recovering from a serious wound. The benefits of the king of no killing has been completed. 100 karma points have been consumed. The wastes of your flesh have been completely removed and the performance of your body has increased. Physique and magic power has increased by one each. There was even a resurrection bonus. This was why, King of No Killing, was a scam. In all of ways of survival, Selena Kim of the United States was the only one who obtained this attribute. Current Karma Points, 0 one hundredths. Fill up the points for your next resurrection. One Karma Point will be obtained every time you save someone's life. The privilege of the King of No Killing was, resurrection. Of course, it wasn't unconditionally resurrection. Karma points were necessary. It was fortunate that the first resurrection started with 100 points. Kyao, the fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is using the flames of destruction. I couldn't die as soon as I revived. Since my points had fallen to zero, the resurrection privilege couldn't be used for a while. I looked around and saw the number, two, written on a foothold. The other people were already standing on a foothold. Hunsung SSI, go over there. We'll go to the next one. Lee Hunsung rushed towards me at Yung Hee Wan's quick judgment. Lee Hunsung arrived and opened his mouth while sweating. Dokya SSI, are you okay? Just take a look. I thought my eyes were mistaken for a while. I didn't have time to explain in detail how it was possible. Absolute shield is activated. The flames of destruction burned in front of my eyes. I spoke to Lee Hunsung, who was looking at me like I was Jesus. Hunsung SSI, do you have anything for me to wear? A poncho or, I might be a soldier but, ah. Lee Hunsung belatedly recognized the situation and looked at my body. The resurrection was good except for one thing. The external suit had melted and most of the items I picked up were destroyed. In other words, I was now naked. No, that's okay. I muttered. Lee Hunsung had raised his hand to his waist and now he returned it to his original position. No matter how strong a person, this sense of sacrifice was too much. In any case, I didn't need clothes but the items that fell. Even the flames of destruction couldn't dissolve star relics or scenario items. In fact, unbroken faith was rolling around the lesser dragon's legs and the brown flag was also on the ground. It was a location where other people couldn't easily pick them up. As soon as the shield was lifted, people started to run from far away. The one who ran first was Jung. He won. Dokya SSI. Young Hiwan's expression gradually stiffened as she ran towards me. The constellation, Abyssal Black Flame Dragon, is looking at the Black Flame Dragon. I felt her gaze covering my shoulders and back before she looked away. I didn't see anything so don't worry. Is now the time to care about that? I reflexively shrank back at the words. 
Then a poncho covered my body. Looking closer, it was a big one. Sam Yangdang's straw mat. Yung Hiwan handed it over to me. Thank you, Yung Hiwan SSI. I was very thankful to her right now. The constellation, bald general of justice, is a little sad. Let's move. Kyao. The lesser dragon Igneal's physical movement stage had begun. We once again moved counterclockwise and avoided the attack. Yung Hiwan and Lee Hunsung ran ahead of me. They seemed to care about the black flame dragon dangling from my lower body. The straw mat was more uneven than I thought and didn't cover the front. Yung Minsob ran without noticing and asked, what now representative? All the apostles have died. As Yung Minsob said, I didn't see any remaining apostles. The proof was that their ice pills were rolling around the areas where they died. They were items with a long digestion time and didn't melt in the flames. A dragon's paw flew through the air. Kyok. Two prophets running behind the party were crushed. I ran to the center of the platform and grabbed unbroken faith in the brown flag. You have recovered the brown flag. You can use the flag's abilities. I looked around and it was only my party members remaining. As I was thinking, the time for the footholds to be activated had already come. Numerical footholds are activated. Gather. Fortunately, a foothold with the number, 5 feet was activated. The problem was that there was only one active foothold this time. The intermediate Dakabi's voice could be heard in the air. Huhu, you are still holding up well. But will that luck continue? Next time, the number on the foothold might be 3 or 4. If so, someone in the party would surely die. If it was 6. The 5th grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is using the flames of destruction. Absolute shield is activated. We barely made it with 10 seconds to spare. I had to think of this as the last time. Phew, this bastard. Dokya SSI, what do we do? Lee Hunsung and Yung Hiwan were exhausted. It was natural since they had ran dozens of times in an environment where it was hard to breathe. I think we should fight. Can we catch it? It isn't impossible. I pointed to the ice pills rolling around on the floor. The number was exactly a match for the members of our party. If we ate the items that the apostles prepared, it wasn't impossible to damage the lesser dragon. The question was if we could kill it before the next full attack began. Absolute shield will be released. Run. Pick up the pills that have dropped on the ground. The party members popped out as I yelled. 4,100 coins have been invested in magic power. Magic power LB. 16 to magic power LB. 25. Your soul is attuned to the world. In order to get rid of the lesser dragon as quickly as possible, I needed to raise my magic power instead of my strength. I picked up an ice pill and swallowed it. The ice property has temporarily opened. 40% ice damage is added. Now the only thing left was to inflict damage. What should I do? There was a limit to charging recklessly. Lee Hunsung had great mountain smash but he lacked agility. Yung Hiwan had excellent agility but she lacked a powerful finishing blow. It would be good if we attacked a weak spot. Was it something that omniscient readers? Viewpoint could point out. Ah, that reminded me. Exclusive skill, omniscient readers viewpoint is already in use. The compensation for the exclusive skill, omniscient readers viewpoint stage 3 is available. I used the reward. You have experienced the first person protagonist's point of view. You can take one of the protagonist's skills. What? I was too puzzled to see the flying paw of the lesser dragon. Yung Hiwan's body pushed against mine and the paw landed where I used to be. Kwong. Why are you freezing? Yung Hiwan cried out but I couldn't easily answer. I could take one of the protagonist's skills. This meant I could get one of Yu Jong Hyuk's skills. Presenting the list of available skills. Oh ho, I got a choice. Now that I had eaten the ice pill, what if I could get one of Yu Jong Hyuk's skills? If I could obtain something like strong self-defense or breaking the sky sword. Please select a skill to acquire. Cold resistance. Fire resistance. Lie detection. Shit, it was like this. Things couldn't be resolved so easily. I liked lie detection the most among the available skills, but it was useless for me right now. The most useful thing for this situation was fire resistance. Kwu. The lesser dragon roared and breathed out fire. Once this action was over, the flames of destruction phase would being. Let me think. I was a reader. There would be an answer in what I had read. Due to the effect of your exclusive attribute, the memories from the books you have read will increase. The pages flashed in my head. The Lesser Dragon's Atticles. There was some information in the 12th, 14th and 17th regressions. Now these things were given to me. Dokya SSI, quickly. I slowly closed my eyes. Then, Cold Resistance. I decided. The skill Cold Resistance is now available to be used. 
I turned to the others and shouted. Yung Hee Won SSI, Lee Hun Sung SSI. Have you eaten your ice pills yet? Give all of them to me. Huh. Lee Sung Kook, Yung Min Sob. You too. Yung Min Sob's eyes widened just as he was about to put the ice pill in his mouth. Quickly. Ah, yes. I quickly received the four ice pills. I avoided the flames and poured all of the pills into my mouth. I was certain. This was for the best. You have taken an ice pill. The attribute overlay effect of the ice pill will increase the attribute damage. 200% ice damage is added. The chill of your heart engulfs your entire body. I would have never done this in a normal situation. The ice pill was actually a type of poison. Eating just one would make you feel like you were standing naked in the middle of winter. It meant that I should usually only take one. The exclusive skill, Cold Resistance LB, 5 feet has protected you. The skill I gained from Yu Jong Hyuk started at level 5. Everyone come behind me, I shouted as I held the handle of my sword. Perhaps it was due to the memories when I was Yu Jong Hyuk. The feeling I got when I grasped the sword subtly changed. Blade of Faith is activated. Keying. The special option of Unbroken Faith is activated. The ether property is converted to darkness. The effect of the ice pill will add frost to the ether property. The ether blade became a dark blue. It was due to the overlay of ice and darkness. Quack. The dark blue ether blade started to hit the flames. I exploded all my muscle strength and ran to the lesser dragon. Now it was an all out battle. The stigma, Song of the Sword, has been used. Your sword is filled with the words left by the Duke of Loyalty in Warfare. The buff ability varied according to the verse of the Song of the Sword. Please don't let it be a strange verse. In the night, a god appeared in his dream and said, you will win big if you do this. Otherwise, you will lose. I wanted a different verse when different colors appeared on the lesser dragon's body. Most of them were green but there were parts that looked a toxic red. The constellation, Maritime War God, is supporting your battle. I realized the meaning of the Duke of Loyalty in Warfare. I see. These were the weak points. I ran through the fire and swung my sword at the lesser dragon's head. The first point was pale red. Kya. It floundered while I cut the Achilles tendon of its hind legs. The second was dark red. Kyak. I jumped to avoid the tail and its paw swung towards me. Piak. The shield effect of the brown flag is activated. The flames couldn't be blocked but the shield could endure a few ordinary attacks. I ran as it roared and stabbed my blade. Pook. It was at a red light on its chest. Kyak. The lesser dragon started to wince. The shield of the brown flag was instantly destroyed and flames started to gather at its mouth. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is preparing the flames of destruction. The attack phase was finally starting. Now I had no shield. I used all my magic power and the elongated ether blade struck its chest. I swung and swung again. The explosive ice damage hit its chest. But it still didn't fall. Kua. Just a bit more. Kyak. A bit more. The fifth grade fire dragon species, lesser dragon Igneal, is using the flames of destruction. The flames burned in front of me. I would die once they struck me. I could hear the calls of the party members in the distance. I listened to the calls and swung my sword without backing down. I could do it. My calculations weren't wrong. I was a reader. If I had been Yu Jong Hyuk, a sharp sense of emotion came as I wielded the sword in a trance. Yu Jong Hyuk's sword was invisible and silent. The sensation was strongly embedded in me. I grabbed the hilt with all my strength. I recalled the feeling of that moment with my senses. At least once. If I could emanate even a bit of that, one sword. Kwu. The sword moved and I heard something burst. It was the sound of flesh exploding. The blood of the lesser dragon soaked my eyes and its body parts flew through the air. After rolling around in the high temperature dust, I vomited up all the congested parts. I shook my head to regain my vision. I staggered as I barely got up. I was staring into the lesser dragon's eyes. I was taken aback and shook. It seemed that the burning flames of destruction had quietly turned off. The huge eyelids blinked once before it slowly backed away. Kuang. The blade of belief was crying out silently from what it was stabbed into the dragon's heart. You are the first to kill the disaster, lesser dragon Igneal. You are the first to contribute to clearing the fifth main scenario. An impossible feat has been accomplished. The power slowly went out of my body. There was no power in my clenched fists. I gaped for breath as I sat down. It was a reckless challenge. This time I really almost died. The compensation settlement will take some time due to the impossible achievement. Some low-grade Dokabi have requested a plausibility request from the administration bureau. 
The intermediate Dokabi was staring down at me quietly. Anyway, now was the time for sweet rewards. Chapter 56. Episode 12 First Person Protagonist Point of View 3. The Constellation, Prisoner of the Golden Headband, Applauds Your Spirit. The Constellation, Demon-like Judge of Fire, Praises Your Courage. The Constellation, Secretive Plotter, Is Curious. About Your Tactics. Dot. Some constellations are greatly impressed by your performance. 20,000 coins have been sponsored. I frowned as the indirect messages poured in without a filter. No one disliked praise. However, dozens of praises pouring in at once was too much. Where did Bi Hyung go and why didn't he manage the messages? Ah, he would have been called by the administrator bureau right now. There was no compensation for the hidden scenario and the intermediate Dokabi disappeared without saying something. By the way, the total number of sponsored coins was 20,000 coins, the minority channels were different from the large channels. I quickly looked at the fire dragon's body and pulled out the core. Fifth grade fire dragon's core. A core surrounded by a soft red light. The quality of the core that came out from the disaster was unusual. It was deteriorated but it was still a dragon. There were many beneficial parts. For example, the bones and leather. It could be processed by a good blacksmith or exchanged. I looked down at the body of the fire dragon. I had caught a disaster but to only obtain this much. Then there was a sudden pain from my back as well as a cheerful voice. Dokya SSI, what game character are you? I turned around and saw Young Hee Won standing behind me. A cough came out. My physical state is so bad right now that I will die from one hit from you. You will live even if you are killed. That isn't necessarily the case. I expected Young Hee Won to ask but she was somewhat quiet. I realized that she was greatly shocked when I died. She seemed to have cried, no, Young Hee Won wasn't crying. She lowered her voice like she was conscious of the other party members. Did you know this enacted? Not everything. I really thought you were dead. But I survived. Once again, her strong palm slapped against my back. Lee Hunsung came running out late. Dokya SSI. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob were far away and came together. In fact, I wanted these guys to die here but they were really lucky. Well, they were in my group now so I could control them at any time. But, silence fell as everyone stared at me. I sighed and said, you can ask one by one. What are your questions? A sudden hearing began. Resurrection is a new privilege I have gained. It isn't due to my sponsor. I moderately avoided the difficult information and only told them what I thought they needed to know. Young Hee Won muttered with a dumbfounded expression. Resurrection every time you save someone, isn't this a scam? It is one resurrection per 100 people but a scam is a scam. I honestly admitted it. However, the king of no killing also had a fatal weakness. As long as I had this attribute, I couldn't, directly, take the life of another person. It wasn't a problem to injure, oppress or make them unable to fight, but he couldn't kill them. The king of no killing would be deprived of his throne when he killed a person. Of course, I didn't talk about these things. No good would come from it being known. You have to work hard to save people in the future. In some cases, people need to be killed. Don't worry. I'll kill them for you. Young Hee Won stated in a confident voice. In fact, I was able to choose the king of no killing with ease because of Young Hee Won. It was the reason why I raised the judge of destruction in the first place. It wasn't a big problem to keep the king of no killing until the middle scenarios, although there might be frustrating moments when playing solo. As time went by, there would be more fraudulent attributes. I got a good attribute in the beginning so it would be hard to miss. The timing to change it. But this is really like a fantasy novel. Now you have all types of abilities. Lee Sung Kuk, Yung Min Sob and Lee Hun Sung were watching. I intentionally stared at them. It was a warning to Yung Hee Won not to say anything. She accepted it and Lee Sung Kuk opened his mouth. What did it feel like when you died? It was terrible of course. I wanted to ask why he asked this but Lee Sung Kuk spoke again in a serious voice. Honestly, I was a bit scared when I saw you rising alive again. You are scared. Yes. Strictly speaking, your entire body disappeared and was restored. Common sense says that such a thing can't happen. I don't know what the principle of this world is but if your existence can be duplicated in the entirety, you might not have been, resurrected, but, cloned. He spoke a creepy story in a calm voice. It was something I never thought about. It reminded me that this guy's attribute was, hypnotist. Wasn't he interesting? Young Hee Won started scolding him, have you been watching too many movies? This is an important matter. 
If there is no continuity between your death and resurrection, there is no guarantee that pre-death representative Nim is the same person as post-resurrection representative Nim. They were difficult words. Several memories crossed my mind. This brat, was he the one who got offended by the pedantic prologue? You have a very quaint idea but, there is no need to worry. I was still conscious after my death. Strictly speaking, it wasn't a real death. Did you experience a soul state? I don't know if it can be called a soul but. I felt a bit of unease as I talked. Ways of survival was a world created by the author. This world became a reality. A world in which the soul wasn't proven now became a world in which the soul was taken for granted. In such a world, what was, my, existence? Me, my soul, did it exist from the beginning? Or was I party of the story that the author made? I shook my head. Now wasn't the time to be thinking about this. In any case, are the useless questions over? Ah, can I ask one more question? What? Why are you suddenly using honorifics with me and Minsob? My Yu Jong Hyuk concept is over. Lee Sung Kuk made a surprised expression as he belatedly realized. Hey, come to think about it. I didn't need to hear his words. The concept of over but their treatment wouldn't dramatically change. I reached out a hand towards Lee Sung Kuk. Give me your smartphone. Yes, I want a phone. Lee Sung Kuk stuck out his phone. It was a good model. It was better than what I used. Can I have this? Wasn't the Yu Jong Hyuk concept finished? This is my original concept. Lee Sung Kuk was on the verge of tears. Everybody rest. I have to look at something for a while. We will move in 10 minutes. You can also collect the items. The party members gathered the items scattered all over the place while I used the smartphone to access the internet. I pretended to be unconcerned but I was actually a little nervous. The hidden scenario compensation settlement will be delayed. The plausibility request is currently underway at the administration bureau. It was due to these messages. The plausibility judgment. This was why the coins compensation from the hidden scenario weren't received. I wanted to check the relevant parts in ways of survival but my smartphone was burned. It was a mistake that wasn't like me. This was ominous. What if the mail sent by the author was erased? At this moment, a message appeared on the screen of my smartphone. Syncing to a new device is available. Do you still want to proceed with the sync? What is this? I pressed OK, the download of the file proceeded and a new file was created on the background screen. Three ways to survive in a ruined world. TXT. I see. There was this. Indeed, a file that couldn't be read by the Dakabus or constellations couldn't disappear so easily. I looked at Lee Sung Kuk and Young Min Sob collecting the items. I suddenly wondered, would they be able to read this? Still, I should be careful as possible. I opened up ways of survival and started to read. Your reading speed has increased due to the effect of the exclusive attribute. I found the plausibility request that took place during Yu Jong Hyuk's sixth regression. The intermediate Dokabi of the Seoul Bureau, Baram, frowned upon reading the scenario in front of him. TL, Baram equals wind. The top of the document had the name, Regressor Yu Jong Hyuk. A regressor, damn. The Dakabis and constellations noticed quickly. Baram looked over at the Dakabis. No senior Dakabis or great Dakabis could be seen. It was natural. This was a plausibility request that occurred at the level of a local dome. The principle was that the world of the district should be solved in the district. Baram asked the nervous looking Dakabis. Who petitioned the bureau? Aoni of Japan. Why is he worrying about a foreigner instead of his own country? Doesn't he have any business? There is a lot of fierce fighting between the low grade Dakabis these days. Baram frowned. Certainly, according to the report, it was worth doing a plausibility request for, Yu Jong Hyuk. There was also a lot of important information that was automatically filtered from the beginning. In addition, the skill sage's eyes meant that some items couldn't be accessed by the system. The data survey required the help of a higher level administration. Baram sighed and covered up the report. It's okay. This guy is someone who has received permission from my superiors. Leave him alone. Is it okay? The aftermath. He has a sponsor that we can't afford to go against. We can't go against a single constellation. What if the constellation alliance? Baram laughed. How can you lecture me? Do you know who his sponsor is? T that's not it. It will soon be the fifth scenario so take care of it. The plausibility will be gradually offset as the scenario progresses. The atmosphere suddenly became cold and he said to the intermediate Dokabi. Don't you have work to do these days? Uh, why do sales in the United States and India look like this? Isn't there the profit in the US and the Constellation Alliance in India? 
Why are the sales like this when they are so many rich targets? Are you not making the products well? T that. Shit. Don't give excuses. Quickly sell the coin goods. A laugh emerged. I was reminded of Minisoft when looking at the Docabus working. The planning division wasn't a joke. In any case, I was now in a situation similar to Yu Jong Hyuk in ways of survival. I thought that this would happen someday but, this was why it wasn't good to be noticed. This, what if the judgment caused me damages? At that moment, a trembling voice was heard in the air. How many times do I have to be called to the bureau because of you? Be young. I opened the Dokabi communication. How did it go? Chapter 57. Episode 12 First Person Protagonist Point of View 4. What is happening? Things have turned completely upside down. What skills do you have? Why can't I access the information even when I ask the supervisory bureau? I was curious as well. I also wanted to see my attributes window. So what happened? Am I going to be penalized? Where did you hear that? Hey, do you know how hard I defended you? Administrator, please listen to me. Kim Dokia isn't a scammer or a strange person. He is just a very hard worker. He speak in a convincing manner. Fortunately, my earnest appeal was taken into consideration. I've analyzed the entire scenario and found that you only used a few skills. It isn't enough to destroy the ecology of the scenarios. It was as I expected. I didn't learn passive skills for no reason. The more good skills I used, the easier it was to attract the attention of the Bureau. Besides, there are some loud guys in other areas, the Bureau is busy right now. Then it worked out well. In fact, there are a few jerks, but instructions came down from the upper management and the, great Dokabi, said to dismiss it. I was amazed by the unexpected words. The great Dokabi interfered. Sigh, listen to the intermediate Dokabi. I shouldn't be here. There are suddenly more eyes on me. You should be careful. This is the jurisdiction of the intermediate Dokabi and he has a firm grudge against you. Grudge. Don't you know. The plausibility meeting is like a tax investigation. In any case, you will have a hard time for a while. Bi Hyung disappeared. Then there was a huge spark in the air and the intermediate Dokabi showed up in a formal suit. He looked around for a while before speaking in a gruff voice. I'm sorry everyone. There was a bit of friction and the compensation was late. It is late but I will now reward you. 3,000 coins have been acquired for clearing the hidden scenario. You have earned 15,000 coins as compensation for killing the 5th grade fire dragon. You have obtained the protection symbol of the Amyuntar for being the first to prevent a disaster. In the future, you will get the favor of the Amyuntar people. Fortunately, the compensation was paid normally. In addition, the protection symbol of the Amyuntar. Now that I got this, the upcoming fifth scenario wouldn't be so bad. It wasn't as much as what I got but the faces of the other party members were hilarious once they received a clear reward. By the way, stingy bastards. I caught a disaster and these were the only rewards. Then the intermediate Dokabi started talking. By the way, you worked so hard that there was a bit of a problem with the scenario. There was something sarcastic and ominous about his tone. As a result of discussions with the Bureau, it was reported that the average skill of the local incarnations doesn't match the difficulty of the scenario. Therefore, I have arbitrarily adjusted the difficulty level in my area using my own judgment. What? A random adjustment. The time limit of the fourth scenario has been significantly reduced. The mouth of the intermediate Dokabi curved up strangely as he looked at me. No, this bastard. There are 48 hours left until the end of the fourth scenario. All group representatives and members who haven't taken over the target within the next 48 hours will die. Yes, this was what he was planning. Young Minsov stared at me from where he was picking up the fallen items. Everyone had probably heard the message. Who has Changsun Station now? T the Tyrant King. One of the seven kings of Seoul, the Tyrant King. I said with a sigh, then let's return to Chungyuro. By the way, I didn't know if Yu Jong Hyuk was doing well or not. Let's wrap up the fourth scenario. The distance from Angok Station to Chungyuro was further than I thought. During the journey, we exchanged a few stories. Young Hyewon and Lee Hunsung walked ahead, while I walked in the rear with Lee Sungkook and Young Minsov. I couldn't take the entire body of the fire dragon so I put half of it on the exchange. The other half was also placed on the exchange, but I deliberately put it at a ridiculously high price. It wasn't for sale but a trick to use the exchange as a warehouse substitute. Bi Young grumbled but I ignored it. Young Minsov opened his mouth. By the way, Representative Nim. It felt strange because I really felt like a big company's president when I kept being called, Representative Nim. 
Is your name Kim Dokya? Yes. Ah, it really is your name. Is it unusual? Yes. Honestly, you are more like a prophet than we are. His voice was rather subdued. Sigh, if only I hadn't stopped reading. It was a belated regret. At this moment, I had a moment of doubt. There was something I wanted to ask but I had forgotten. Young Minsab SSI, I want to ask you something. Yes. How did the prophets gather so quickly? This was a point that I always found strange. It hadn't been more than a month since the initial scenario started. However, these guys had already been working as a group. Furthermore, the apostles were even worse. Based on the first-person protagonist point of view, they had a fairly high-armed force that couldn't be obtained without occupying a large number of stations. It was a growth that couldn't be understood with my common sense. There was someone who called us together. Called you together. Yes. Soon after the first scenario ended, he came to the station where I was. Interesting. How was this possible? At that point, there would still be a barrier between stations. He introduced himself as an apostle and said that he had read the great book of Revelations. He recruited prophets to follow him. The odd thing was that it happened simultaneously in different stations. It is hard to believe it was done by one person. In any case, we gathered because of that apostle. He pulled us into the group. Yes, we call that apostle the first apostle. Is he the king of the prophets? The person who hates being called someone who, got off. Ah, you already know. Yes, he likes to be called another name another name. He claims to be a, true reader. What? There was a lot of talk about why he would call himself such a name. We couldn't come to a conclusion. He claimed to have read all of the book of Revelations but, as the story continued, this person's identity became more and more doubtful. When I thought about the information he took advantage of, he didn't seem like a, reader. I was busy thinking when Chung Yuro approached. It hadn't been long since I left but I felt like I had returned to my hometown as I took in the air of Chungyuro Station. I restrained my companions from entering the station. Wait a minute. Thinking about it, I was still naked. Why hadn't anyone said anything? I spoke to Lee Sungkook. Lee Sungkook SSI, please take off your pants. I took the lead to enter Chungyuro Station, while Lee Sungkook was forced to walk behind me in his underwear. I could see Yu Sangu welcoming me in the distance. I looked into her moist eyes and could see how hard it had been. Something ran into me and I saw Lee Gilyoung attached to my right leg. Have you been well? The dusty Lee Gilyoung nodded. Lee Jaihee had a serious injury and hadn't woken up yet. Gong Pildu scoffed and turned his head as soon as he saw me. The constellation, defense master, reproaches you on your late return. It was a reaction I could understand since his incarnation nearly died. Yu Sangha SSI. Lee Hunsung and Yung Hee-won didn't know what happened in Chung Yuro and ran towards the people with an aghast expression. People around the platform were bleeding. In fact, Yu Sangha had a cloth bound tightly to her shoulder. Some of the railroad tracks were covered with blood. They were traces of a fierce fight. Yung Minsob stuttered, T the apostles. The heads of number 2, 3, 4 and 7 were lined up side by side on the railroad tracks. Their expressions seemed like they didn't realize their own death. I knew who was this skillful. I asked Lee Gilyoung. Where is Yu Jonghyuk? As I spoke, I felt an ominous presence from the Hoyoung Tunnel side. I knew despite the distance. Our arrogant and dignified hero practiced the alone under heaven and earth scripture. Yu Jonghyuk. He looked at me with no change in his expression. I thought he would say something about what happened in the theater dungeon, but what was this? The cut-off head of a person was still being held in his hands. Someone screamed while Yu Jonghyuk threw the head this way. The head rolling like a toy was covered with a cloak with, one, on it. It was the first apostle. Yu Jonghyuk was really great. He chased this guy to the end and killed him. I was half relieved and half anxious. I still had questions but if the apostle died like this. At this moment, something ridiculous happened. It is you. You screwed up my plan. Right. The severed head suddenly started talking to me. Walk. What? Young Minsob screamed and fell over. The eyes looked up at me while he smiled smugly. It was impossible. The skills that could be used even when the head was cut off was extremely rare even in ways of survival. It was possible if he used the skill immortal delay but even with that skill, he couldn't stay in a state with his head cut off. Besides, there was no blood from the cut neck. Wait. Perhaps. The information that I received from Lee Sungkook and Young Minsob started to run through my head. A man who revealed himself to all prophets and claimed to be a, true reader. He appeared all over Seoul as soon as the scenario began and gathered people. 
In addition, it was possible to pass through the barriers, he didn't die when his head was cut and there was no blood. The avatar ability. I was certain. The guy in front of me was a fake. The severed head continued to speak. Wow, I am really impressed. Pretending to be Yu Jonghyuk, beating the apostles and the dragon, what is your identity? I see. This guy didn't know my identity. What are you? As far as I knew, there were very few people who could use the avatar ability in ways of survival. The occupation that received such an attribute was normally fixed. They were occupations engaged in creative work and frequently experienced dissociative personality disorder due to excessive stress. I slowly looked him up and down before asking, you, are you perhaps a writer? Chapter 58. Episode 12 First Person Protagonist Point of View 5. Writer. It was one of the few occupations in ways of survival that could give the avatar ability. Some of his strange miracles would be explained if he was a writer. The lips of the first apostle subtly twisted. Writer, do you mean the creator of the book of Revelations? You have found out. That's right, I wrote the book of Revelations. I didn't mean this but this bastard was suddenly talking nonsense. For me, it was a truth that wasn't possible. I looked towards Yu Jonghyuk. Exclusive skill, omniscient reader's viewpoint has been activated. The character Yu Jonghyuk is currently using lie detection LB. 6. I knew it. He was a meticulous jerk. I asked once again, you wrote the book of Revelations? Yes. At the same time, I am also the sole owner of the book of Revelations. A confident laugh emerged. Really? Let's challenge it once. The character, Yu Jonghyuk, has used, lie detection LB. 6 feet. The character Yu Jonghyuk has confirmed that the statement is true. What? This guy was telling the truth. I suddenly panicked and my circuits got tangled up. It wasn't possible no matter how I thought about it. I hid my confusion and asked again, what exactly is the revelation you are talking about? Why are you asking when you already know? A great epic about the future. The character Yu Jonghyuk has confirmed that the statement is true. Strange. There was some truth about it. Now it is your turn. How did you know about the plan of me and the apostles? Are you also an apostle? You wrote the book of revelations yourself. Then shouldn't you know? It is fun to be an omniscient creator. He giggled like a leisurely villain while I regained my composure. No matter how I looked, he wasn't the author of Ways of Survival. If he was really the writer of Ways of Survival, there was no way he wouldn't know that he gave me a text version. By the way, it is interesting. I thought the woman in Siodemon Prison would be the last apostle but a man like you was hiding. Siodemon Prison. Hem, you don't know yet. Let's trade. Reveal your true identity. Then I will give you some information. Let's see. I don't think you have information that I want. I might have been overpowered but this isn't my real body. You were a bit lucky. I know information about the future. I deliberately interrupted him. Now was the time to sprinkle a bit of spice for Yu Jonghyuk. In addition, I know much more than you. The character Yu Jonghyuk has confirmed that your words are true. The expression of the first apostle stiffened. You're barking nonsense. I know more than you. At this moment, something flashed in his eyes. Wait a minute, perhaps. The moment he realized something, I also noticed something. This guy, was it? Him. Right now, there were five truths that I knew. 1. He had read ways of survival. 2. His occupation was a, writer. 3. He wasn't the writer who wrote ways of survival. 4. He wrote a, text, that told the future. 5. His knowledge was only, somewhat, accurate. I read through 3149 chapters of ways of survival. As far as I knew, Ways of Survival wasn't popular and there was no illegal text version. But if he was the guy that I thought, it would be understandable if this guy had a text version and knew a lot about Ways of Survival. I opened my mouth. Do you like to live while copying others? W what? His eyes were shaken. There was no doubt. The first apostle was him. I didn't think you would live like this. The revelation, do you want to live like this? My teeth starts grinding together when I think about your claims of being the creator of the book of revelations. What? It is somewhat strange. The information that you have used is meager. The guy paled. Isn't it time to stop acting like this? Are you still doing it despite the world becoming like this? Yu Jonghyuk. The guy hurriedly looked at Yu Jonghyuk. Yu Jonghyuk. Work with me. He was silly. As I said before, I know all of the revelations. Only I can take you to the end of this road in this world. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 2 has been activated. Due to high fatigue, you are unable to activate Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 2. Damn, right now. Think carefully. 
You can't break through the 46th scenario alone. You have to hold hands with me to defeat Anna Croft and the Chalatustra. This jerk was speaking the same words I did. Yu Jong Hyuk shook his head. I have never heard of the revelations. It is like a prophecy. Can't you see my attribute? It even says that I am the last. The character, Yu Jong Hyuk, has used Sage's eyes LV. 8. I also activated the skill. The information of this person can't be read in character list. This person isn't registered in character list. Damn, I couldn't see it. Yu Jong Hyuk verified something with Sage's eyes and looked at me. The severed head continued to speak. Kill him. You should know that he is dangerous. He pretended to be you and will seriously damage you in the future. If you leave him alone, he will cause a serious butterfly effect and ruin all your plans. I was outraged. Did this jerk want to die together with me? Isn't it the same for you? I am different. Yu Jong Hyuk, hold hands with me. I will give you a vow or whatever you want. I will never betray you. He came out strongly. Yu Jong Hyuk watched the situation and opened his mouth. I see. Joining hands. Life started to creep into Yu Jong Hyuk's eyes as he looked at me. I couldn't inside his mind so I was going crazy. Yu Jong Hyuk slowly moved his sword towards me. The first apostle's momentum rose as he shouted. Go ahead and kill him. Kill him. One is a prophet and one is a revelator. Kill him. Peek. Yu Jong Hyuk trampled on the head of the first apostle. Kook. What? If you really know the future then let me ask you one thing. What? The blade moved to my neck. The one sword that I experienced through Yu Jong Hyuk was now heading towards me. I felt a sting and something warm flowed down my neck. Hey, what are you doing? The surprised Yung Hee Wan ran towards this side. I raised my hand and restrained the party. I was nervous but it wasn't good to stimulate Yu Jong Hyuk here. Yu Jong Hyuk asked the first apostle. I will ask you, will I kill this guy now or not? What? If you have really received a revelation of the future, you will know my choice. This bastard had a bad habit. He was doing this again. The face of the first apostle looked agonized. Maybe I was the same on the, even bridge. Surprisingly, the answer came quickly. Of course you will kill him. You must do it. It was a face full of strong convictions. His face was arrogantly assured that Yu Jong Hyuk would act like this. Come on, kill him. And, the sword moved. But what followed wasn't the sound of flesh being cut. Kwajik. The head of the first apostle burst as it was stepped on. The person wouldn't die because it was an avatar, but he would suffer considerable psychological damage. Yu Jong Hyuk's sword was soon removed. He was a mouthy bastard. I was a bit stunned. Yu Jong Hyuk chose to spare me. I felt a bit shaken. I wasn't sure. Yu Jong Hyuk stared at me for a moment before walking away. Hey, where are you going? This jerk, he must think he was so cool. Honestly, he was a bit cool. Just wait. Are you going to leave with Lee Jaehee? Since the future has changed, the plan has also changed. Why don't you act together with me? I can help you. Yu Jong Hyuk turned towards me. I reflexively shrank back at his eyes. The debt is paid off. My last favor is not taking away your flag. This bastard. But I couldn't retreat like this. In any case, you can't leave the station unless I remove you from the group. Do you want to receive the punishment? Yu Jong Hyuk slowly moved his hand towards the hilt of his sword. I quickly added. I know what your plan is. Aren't you going towards Yung Ji Yu? It is your goal to complete the black flag by walking the king's road. I will help you. I would rather take your flag right now. Then try it. Is your sword faster or my tongue faster? It was a gamble. Yu Jong Hyuk could stab my neck before the effect of the punishment appeared. You don't need to go towards Yung Ji Yu. Go to the north. The territory of the tyrant king will be yours. And it will help you make your grand flag. Getting a flag and removing the enemy, isn't it killing two birds with one stone? I can do it myself. There are 48 hours left until the end of the fourth scenario. Can you occupy 20 stations and complete the black flag in the time? Yu Jong Hyuk's hands hesitated. He was caught. Besides, don't you have a reason for going north? Surely you aren't going to throw away your family member at this time. You. Remain calm. I am speaking in good faith. I really will help. Yu Jong Hyuk's angry eyes stared at me for a moment. The atmosphere was strained. The killing intent soon disappeared. There is no such thing as anything free in the world. What are your conditions? As expected, the regressor was quick to notice. I said with a smile, it is simple. Let me know just one thing. My condition is that simple. What is it? That guy you just stepped on, what is his attribute? One would be the last to get off. What is the other one? After a while, Yu Jong Hyuk opened his mouth. 
Ten minutes afterwards, I called Young Min Sob and Lee Sung Kuk. It was a separate matter for the two of them. Before I could open my mouth, Young Min Sob asked me first. In the end, what was that guy? I hesitated for a moment before asking. Do you know the novel, SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor? Ah, I read it. Lee Sung Kuk raised his hand. Wasn't it the number one platinum novel on Texpia? It was really fun. Ah, that's right. I had forgotten but now it rings a bell. How did it finish? The two of them started speaking loudly as memories popped up. As expected, these guys must be interested in web novels if they read Ways of Survival. There were all types of elements but, it was still fun. In fact, I read that novel. I was reading Ways of Survival and accidentally clicked on it since it was on the, today's best, list. Then I was surprised to see the development and setting of the novel. An Infinite Regressor Psychopath. Sponsorship from Transcendent Beings. Streaming System. A survival game with absurd missions. In fact, these were common settings. The problem was the details of the common settings and the way they were combined. I had left a comment as soon as I read it. Isn't this plagiarizing ways of survival? I remembered. Rather than a plagiarism controversy, I was criticized for comparing it to a bad novel. I received terrible messages from the readers of SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor. Isn't your business over there? Stop causing inconveniences JJJJ. I was furious and even sent a note to the writer of Ways of Survival. Then the author said something. He was in a better mood because the number of views had increased. I teared up because I thought the author was pitiful. Lee Sung Kuk asked, but why are you talking about this novel? The first apostle is the author of SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor. Huh, it can't be. That author would know ways of survival. Now that the world had turned into the novel, a writer who plagiarized the novel could claim copyrights on this world. In addition, he added the absurd setting of the, revelation. After some explanations, Jung Min Sob understood and made an absurd expression. It was a plagiarized novel. Yes. Come to think of it, the novel was similar, I can't remember well because it is old, why didn't that novel pop up first in my mind? I was much more famous. Is it due to the attribute? Only the portion we read popped up. The, SS, part is also confusing because there are too many novels with them. Is that so? In any case, the first apostle is a plagiarist. Then he will have a text version. I nodded and said, maybe he has a copy of his own plagiarized work. He copied the plot of the original so he can see the future of this world to a certain extent. It was painful when thinking that a plagiarist was successful even in this changed world. It was time to implement justice. Then isn't it impossible to win against him? If he copied the original to the end, it isn't to the end. He only copied the early parts. He would stop early to prevent a plagiarism controversy later on. After a bit more time, the information he knows will decrease. How do you know this? I just know. It was natural. In the chapters in the 100s, I was the only reader of Ways of Survival. Excuse me, how far did Representative Nim read in the original work? Before that, there is something you have to do. To be exact, it is something we have to do together. Their shoulders stiffened. Didn't you tell me before? The prophets were hit by the tyrant king. Ah, maybe there are still a few people being used by him. Really? Then it is better. Yes. The time remaining until the scenario ended was 48 hours. It was hard to do it alone if I wanted to hunt the tyrant king. I will disturb the information of these guys. If the tyrant king was using the prophets, I could take advantage of it. Reveal part of the revelations. Huh. How. They still didn't understand what I was talking about so I kindly explained. From now on, we will make a text of SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor and spread it. If there were several enemies, the answer was to make them fight against each other. Chapter 59. Episode 13 War of Kings 1. My plan was clear. The first apostle, the plagiarist, had information about the, third and fourth regressions that were the beginning of ways of survival. As was always the case with informed people, he monopolized information and hid it from the prophets. On the other hand, the tyrant king was one of Seoul's seven kings who used the, revelations, after knowing about the existence of the prophets. The guy who wanted to monopolize information and the guy who tried to dig it out. It was obvious what would happen if the two of them faced each other. Lee Sung Kuk asked, then you are going to make a novel text. That's right. The plan itself was simple. We would make a text of the plagiarized writer's novel. Then spread it among the people of each station. Well, it was roughly this type of feeling. Some of the prophet's revelations have been leaked. The finish was laid out well. 
Thanks to Han Donghun's internet comments manipulation, information on the profits had already spread on the internet. If the leaking of a TXT version was known, there would be a big ripple. A few early readers would try to get a hidden piece while the Tyrant King would naturally move to obtain them. But, I have forgotten most of the contents of SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor. How will we make the text? Why do we need the contents of the plagiarized novel? Huh, we remember the original. Ah, there was a short cry of admiration. However, Yung Minsob's face was still dark. Hey, there is still a problem. The hidden pieces that we know about in ways of survival have been mostly used. I will give you information in hidden pieces. I know a few that are present in the beginning. I will release information on items of the right level. Above all, it had to catch the eye of the plagiarist writer and the tyrant king. Lee Sungkook laughed awkwardly. This is funny. I will make a text version. I am usually just a reader. This jerk, was he an illegal downloader? Young Minsov also spoke. But if we do this, won't we be the same as him? In the end, we are plagiarizing the original story to make a story. It made sense. I thought for a moment before saying. There is such a thing. Plagiarism is about not wanting you to know the original, a parody is more fun if you know the original while a homage wants you to know the original. Oh, this is interesting. From now on, we will be making homage. It was true. I hope that many people would come to know SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor. That way he would be quickly ruined. We borrowed a laptop from Gong Pildu and started typing. We didn't have a lot of experience in writing novels so we had to put our heads together. Young Minsob pulled his hair and said. Writing is so difficult, writers are great. Just write roughly. We just need information that will attract them. Rather, an imperfect revelation might be easier to deceive the prophets. Mix the truth and lies. I watched what Young Minsob typed and added some information. Let's change the names of the people in the novel. I am a bit anxious. Lee Hunsung and Lee Jaihee would be shocked about being characters in the story. Whether I liked it or not, someday they would find out that this world was a novel. But it didn't have to be right now. Then Young Minsob unexpectedly said, Well, I don't think you need to worry about that part. Huh. In fact, I tried to test some people by saying that this was a novel. But they didn't understand it at all. It is like a NPC, no matter how serious I am, they just take it as a joke. It was an unexpected piece of information. Young Minsob and the other apostles had spoken to characters several times about them being, supporting actors. Thinking about the reactions of the characters at the time, there was definitely something strange. Young Minsob continued to speak. This was how the first apostle was able to easily find the prophets. The characters were very displeased by the words, this is a novel, or they didn't listen. Perhaps this was why the apostles used the term, revelation. I suddenly felt uneasy when I heard this. I opened my mouth. What is the difference between the characters and us? Huh. Um. We are people in reality and characters are people in novels. Isn't that the difference? Then, when was this world divided into reality in a novel? Term. Well, when the first scenario started. My question wasn't resolved with Young Minsob's answer. Young Minsob and Lee Sungkook were obviously outsiders of the novel like me. It was because I couldn't see their information at first. But not long after, it was updated and I was able to look at their information and character list. Then were they now, real people, or were they, characters? If everyone became a character over time. I looked at Yu Sangha and Lee Gilyoung for a moment. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. This person isn't registered in, character list. Currently collecting information about the corresponding figure. Fortunately, I still couldn't see the information for both of them. Yu Sangha suddenly looked back at me and smiled. Lee Gilyoung also looked at me. What is it hung? It is nothing. I didn't know why but I felt strangely relieved. Soon after, we approximately completed the novel. The quality was so bad that if it was serialized in Textpia, it would have bombed. But that didn't matter right now. Let's first sprinkle the information that the Book of Revelations has been leaked. Lee Sungkook asked. Is there enough time to spread the information? Donghen will take care of it. If we take advantage of the hermit invalid, it can be spread in a short amount of time. Oh, Donghu, I see. But what if not all stations are capable of the internet? Then we will send someone. I looked behind me. Kong Ilhan nodded as if he had been waiting. Lee Sungkook agreed. Ah, that's right. If it is Ilhan SSI, I had forgotten. Kong Ilhan SSI, are you ready? Kong Ilhan, the deputy of Dongdemon. It was worth intentionally saving this guy. Kong Ilhan nervously opened his mouth. 
Leave it to me. I am confident that I can catch them. I just need to spread rumors. The character, Kong Ilhan, will follow your will. Your understanding of this person has increased. Kong Ilhan. It was finally time to use the attribute of rumors expert. The time remaining until the scenario ended was 44 hours. The next day, the game would begin. Donghan, thank you. I am just paying you back so don't worry. The character, Han Donghun, trusts you a little bit. Since last time, Hermit King of Shadows Han Donghun had moderately opened up his heart to me. The fact that I saved him from the prophets seemed to have played a bigger role than expected. I feel a strange sense of familiarity with you. Familiarity. Since a long time ago, are you also a hermit? Um, no I wasn't. Although I was a bit timid. I see. I feel an unknown wall with Hung. I can't explain it well but I like the feeling. Isn't it usually bad to feel a wall? I only believe in people with walls. In order to understand someone, I think I should face that wall first. A person who was barely 17 years old was speaking like a wise man. In any case, the wall. I was sure that he was right. Some walls couldn't be crossed no matter how desperate the person. In any case, the rumor has spread, but how will you sow the revelations? On the internet again. No, the wrong people will read it if I place it on the internet. I will sell it. Sell it. How? I started to explain to Han Donghun. There were 40 hours remaining until the end of the scenario. I finally summoned the Chungyuro group members. This journey won't be easy. If we can't take Changsun Station in the next 40 hours, our group will be wiped out. However, our current forces isn't enough. Well, since when has it been easy? Who is the opponent? I replied to Yung Hee Wan's question. He is called the Tyrant King. He is one of the top seven kings of Seoul and the king with the largest territory. Lee Hunsung asked this time. What type of person is he? He is someone who started from Dobong Gu and built his own kingdom. He says that any beautiful or handsome man and woman will become concubines, while any ugly people will be killed or become slaves. Yung Hee Wan frowned. If Dokya SSI is caught, you will become a slave. Well, I think it will be dangerous for Hee Wan SSI. Being a concubine is difficult, why don't we just go ahead and kill him? It will be hard because his sponsor is quite strong. Now there are two paths. Take his flag or take over his headquarters, Dobong Station. Neither was easy, causing everyone to feel tense. I decided to get to the point. We will go to Guangwaman. Huh. Didn't you say not to fight them? They will come to us. Why? I leaked a bit of information. We have to consider the time he moves so we will leave soon. Everyone should be prepared. Eh? What is it? I subtly smiled at Yu Sangus question. Nothing. It is just happening faster than I expected. Han Donghun's message appeared on my smartphone. I was able to put it on the exchange. But is it okay? Yes, it's fine. Well done. Then system messages entered my ears one after another. The items on the exchange have been sold. The items on the exchange have been sold. At that moment, a trembling voice was heard from the air. Are you a scammer? What is the reaction among the constellations? They are really excited. The filtering limit has started to unravel. There are those who gave it as gifts to their incarnations. But if you do this, you will receive attention again. Will you be okay? And if you release all the information you know, won't it go against you? It isn't disadvantageous. I still had information remaining. The information I released wasn't information I needed. Rather, it was information that would be damaging to someone. Give me the coins. Here, 16 volumes of SSSSS grade infinite regressors have been sold on the exchange. You have earned 16,000 coins. Of course, I didn't release the information for free. Anyone who needed to information would have a sponsor, so it was better to sell it on the exchange than to release it for free on the internet. If I released the Book of Revelations for free, it would be more suspicious. But what if I sold it? Of course they would buy it. It was because they would mistakenly think the information had value. The quality of the information was sometimes determined by value rather than content. By the way, it was 16,000 coins. This was a profit. I spoke to the people. I'm sorry but I will sleep for a while. Aren't you taking it too easy? I also need to sleep. I lay down. Yu Sangha covered me with a thin blanket. Yung Hee Wan still found it absurd. Then I fell asleep. After a while, a system message was heard in my blurred consciousness. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 3 has been activated. So far, I figured out that Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint was divided into three stages. Stage 1 allowed me to read the simple actions or emotions of characters. 
Stage 2 allowed me to see deep inside the character. Stage 3 allowed me to see the surrounding scenery where the characters were located or directly immerse myself in the character. So far, I had entered stage 3 twice. Once was in my dream and the second time was when I died. In my dream, I saw Yu Jong Hyuk leaving Gumho Station. When I was dead, I witnessed the scenery of Chungyuro. These two incidents had similarities. My consciousness was muddled and unstable. But this wasn't the only condition to trigger stage 3. There was one important fact. It was. Representative Nim, are you watching? Damn, is this right? Kong Ilhan muttered to himself as he gazed into the air. I have spread it to the King of Tyrants. Those guys will move soon. By the way, you are listening to me right. The character and I needed to be thinking about each other at the same time. After a while, my point of view shifted to Kong Ilhan. The man smiled, revealing his white teeth. A man wearing a magnificent crown and a coat of gold slowly rose from the throne, women surrounding him. A new revelation. It is certain. I bought the information using coins. Who released the information? It is probably one of the prophets. Is it reliable? I checked some of the hidden pieces in the revelations and they were all true. The man laughed, revealing his teeth. Let's go to Guangwaman. Before the others get there first. Good. The tyrant king was finally moving. Now the problem was on the other side. I thought about Yung Min Sob. Representative Nim. I have arrived. The timing was good. Young Minsov was at Seung University and heading to Guangwaman in advance. He then looked at the surrounding scenery. I am certain since he is wearing the same hood like a chunny. It is him. People were in the lower part of the building. As I thought, the plagiarist was the fastest. Guangwaman contained one of the hidden pieces most useful for the third regression. The plagiarist wouldn't be able to run away from this place. The problem is that, more people are coming. Young Dianko, Yongsen, Sungdong Jiu, the kings on those sides are moving, isn't this becoming too big? No, it was what I was hoping for. The people who were hiding started to emerge one by one. It was better since I didn't need to visit each one individually. Finally, the fourth scenario was ending. The real War of Kings would begin. Chapter 60. Episode 13 War of Kings 2. My consciousness rose silently and my senses slowly returned to reality. Exclusive skill, omniscient reader's viewpoint stage 3 has ended. The third stage was more tiring than I thought and I couldn't maintain it for long. In addition, I found out one more thing that I regretted. It was that using omniscient reader's viewpoint stage 3 wouldn't always result in gaining a skill. It seemed to be a reward that could be obtained by entering the first person protagonist's point of view. Unfortunate, I didn't know the entry requirements. It would be great if I could get Yu Jong Hyuk's skills every time I fell asleep and used first person protagonist's point of view. I opened my eyes and saw Young Hee Wan watching me. You were talking in your sleep again. Talking. No way. What did I say? It sounded like, mother. Mother. Why was I saying that to myself? It was hard to know if this was the truth or not. Young Hee Wan just looked at me with a mysterious smile. I gave a cursory reply. Well, I'm not really worried about my mother. Rather, I have a request for Young Hee Wan SSI. What is it? Hee Wan SSI, please don't participate in the Guangwaman battle this time. Why? There is something else you need to do. I can only entrust Hee Wan SSI with it. Young Hee Wan licked her lips like she couldn't believe me. I will try. What is it? The first thing I did after conversing with Young Hee Wan was to decide who would stay in Chungyuro and who would go to Guangwaman. Young Hiwan SSI has a mission and I will decide the rest of the people remaining in Chungyuro. The other members gulped. They looked like vassals about to be chosen by the king. First of all, Gong Pildu and Lee Hunsung will stay behind. Bah, I am just your slave. Gong Pildu scoffed like he already expected it. The problem was Lee Hunsung. The slightly pale face was troubled, as if he had somehow missed out on a promotion. Hunsung SSI must remain. I need someone to protect this place with Gong Pildu SSI. Hunsung SSI can protect Chungyuro and lead the people as well as Yusenga SSI. Yes, I understand. His expression was somewhat sad but he had no choice. There was a reason for leaving the steel sword behind. Hunsung SSO already has great skills. The problem is that the skill levels are too low. While we are gone, Hunsung SSI should increase the proficiency of Great Mountain Smash. Hunsung C's help will be needed after the end of this scenario. Lee Hunsung's face brightened slightly. Yep. Please leave it to me. Soldiers were the most efficient when following commands and when they had a routine. Thus, we embarked on the journey to Guangwaman. 
Apart from Lee Jaehee and Yu Jong Hyuk, who were impossible to control, the core members were Yu Sangha, Lee Gilyoung, and Lee Sungkuk. The Chungmuro group members waved as they watched us leave. Deputy Nim, come back safely. You must be safe. For a few days now, Yu Sangha's popularity had pierced the sky. Yu Sangha only led the people for a short amount of time, but everyone was concerned about her. However, Yu Sangha looked uneasy. Dokya SSI, will I be a help to you? Her self-deprecation had returned. I had to say it this time, even if she would be hurt. Yu Sangha SSI. You will be disruptive if you keep acting. Like this. Yes. Yu Sangha SSI is good enough. Would I take someone with me for no reason? I believe in Dokya SSI. But I can't be as helpful to you as Hiwan SSI or Hunsung SSI. The two of them can't do what Yu Sangha SSI can do. Yu Sangha SSI is necessary for this plan. Yu Sangha's expression slightly relaxed as it was emphasized once again. Yu Sangha was an exceptionally talented person. She just needed confidence. Didn't you study Korean history before? Ah, yes. Yu Sangha's expression became brighter once mentions of the past emerged. But it was only for a moment as she quickly became grouchy again. It is useless now. It isn't useless. This is why I brought Yu Sangha SSI along. Originally, I hadn't intended to give this role to Yu Sangha. There was a suitable person if I went down to Guangzhou GU. However, I didn't have time to look for him so Yu Sangha would have to be enough. The Yu Sangha that I knew was smart enough to memorize the entire history of South Korea just to get a first grade degree in Korean history. Do you remember the statue of Samyangdang last time? Yes. There will be many similar things on the way to Guangwaman. There is the National Museum and several statues. Yu Sangha shouted once she realized what I was saying. Ah, I see. That reminds me, the power of the constellations can remain in relics or remnants of themselves. Yes, Yu Sangha C's mission is to find such keepsakes or relics. I understand. I will use my head. There are some famous people but the more unknown they are, the better. Despite being on the same level, a constellation's strength varied according to their popularity. It could be seen in the difference between Samyangdang and Duke of Loyalty in Warfare. The items left behind by Samyangdang were B-grade, while the sword left by the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare had the quality to be S-grade. We need to gather as much items on the way to Guangwaman as possible. Our side has a relatively small number of people. Perhaps the Tyrant King had come with hundreds of incarnations. The plagiarist would have his own forces. I also needed to be careful of the kings who came from Yungdiungpo, Yongsen and Sungdong Giyu. The latter part of the fourth scenario was just like a proxy war for the constellations. At the end of this scenario, an event greatly coveted by the constellations was hiding. Unlike before, the incarnations would have a high coordination with their constellations and the risks would increase accordingly. Since many constellations were determined by the history of their lives, Yu Sangha who knew history would be useful in many ways in this scenario. Yu Sangha suddenly clapped. Ah, that reminds me of a place. Huh, I'm not sure if I'm remembering correctly but, there will probably be Guangsangmyo Shrine near here. Link smiley face. Guangsangmyo. Yes, it is on the way and the power of a great person might be there. He isn't South Korean but, not South Korean. I was a reader of Ways of Survival and I had never heard of Guangsangmyo. In any case, we decided to move according to Yu Sangha. We walked for a while. The first one who screamed was Lee Sungkuk. Hey, is that it? There really was an old shrine nearby. The Guangsangmyo Shrine. There was a place like this in the middle of the city. I read the description and was even more surprised. Huh, it was this person. It was an unexpected figure. It was a shrine for one of the best Chinese god of war. Yu Sangha asked with a tense expression. Now what? I looked around. An idol couldn't be seen. Let's pray. This was different from Samyangdang. I wouldn't always be able to get a good reward for destroying. The idol. We collected water from the shrine and prayed quietly. Some time passed. Then a system message was heard. This shrine has been neglected for a long time. A constellation who loves Gondaus is pleased. A constellation who loves Gundaus has revealed his modifier. The constellation, Lord of the Beautiful Beard, Marquis Zhuangmu, has blessed you. TL. Constellation is Guan Yu equals Link. Lord of the Beautiful Beard, Marquis Zhuangmu. He was Chinese but he was a great person almost everyone in South Korean knew. It was because this constellation was Guan Yu from Romance of the Three Kingdoms. The constellation's blessing increases your strength and physique by five for the next 24 hours. Lee Sungkuk turned rosy like a flower. Crazy, 
Representative Nim, isn't this a complete jackpot? It is a decent start. I didn't know why there was a shrine for Guan Yu in Seoul but it shouldn't be strange when there was a shrine for the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare in Japan. Guan Yu was world famous, just like the Duke of Loyalty and Warfare. I guess it is hard to get an item from here. It would have been nice to get something like a Guando. He was a great person of China. Even if there was an idol, it didn't mean a good item would appear in South Korea. It was more likely that an incarnation of China had obtained it. He couldn't be compared to the great sage the equal of heaven or Uriel, but he wouldn't lose when it came to the Chinese constellations. Li Gilyang grabbed my collar. Hung. The cockroach's antennae was moving wildly. I had a bad hunch and saw a group walking in the distance. There were approximately 50 people. I used calm observation and saw that their average physical body stats were around level 40. It was lacking compared to the apostles, but it was still enough to call them elites. A warlord with 50 elites. Lee Sungkook muttered, that armor, somewhere. The historical clothing reminded me of a museum gallery. I looked at the members and they were all handsome men. Lee Sungkook muttered, isn't that Wang Sungmin in the first row? He seems to be an entertainer. Anyone who saw it would think it was a historical drama filming but bloodthirst was coming from them. A man came forward and pointed his spear towards me. Who is blocking the way of the king? Who are you? I guessed but I still asked. I thought I would meet this person later but the timing was faster than expected. A woman's voice was heard from among the group of men. That brown flag, are you also a king? So what? I didn't think there would be a king in Yung Ji Yu. It is amazing. Her voice was like petals blowing in the spring breeze. It was a stage voice. I replied, kings are now common in this world. A king might be common but not just anyone can become king. Everyone, open the path. The retainers moved in unison and a woman dressed in a royal costume appeared in the center of the ranks. Her hair was raised in an elegant manner. She was a stunning beauty that could easily be the heroine of a historical drama. Are you Min Ji Wan? Lee Sung Kook stuttered. The woman laughed. You recognize me. I am a fan. Lee Sung Kook stepped forward in a spellbound manner. Fool. The hypnotist was being bewitched first. The exclusive skill, permanent LB, too, is activated. I used it the moment I met Lee Sung Kook's eyes. I I I'm sorry. The woman's eyes narrowed. By the way, it was interesting. Lee Sung Kook recognized the name Min Ji Wan like she was a person who actually existed. One of the seven kings of Seoul, the king of beauty was a real person. I felt a bit strange. It was because the real name of the king of beauty in ways of survival was, Min. Jiwan. Was it just a coincidence? I should check it out. The exclusive skill, character list is activated. Fortunately, the skill was activated safely. Character information. Name. Min Jiwan. Age. 26 years old. Constellation support. Lady of the brocade sleep. Private attribute. Actor rare king of beauty, hero. Exclusive skills. Weapons Training LB. 5. Military Command LB. 2. Love Affair Demon LB. 4. Skin Correction LB. 1. A Thousand Faces LB. 3. Acting LB. 2. Stigma. Heavenly Charm LB. 4. Unique Heroine LB. 3. Overall Stats. Physique LB. 18. Strength LB. 18. Agility LB. 21. Magic Power LB. 23. Overall Evaluation an incarnation with an excellent sponsor behind her. Her wonderful beauty will shine even more with the backing of her sponsor. Her army will only be loyal to her unless her beauty fades. As expected, she was the king of beauty in the original ways of survival. Looking at character list, she didn't seem to be a real person, then how did Lee Sung Kook know her? Did it have something to do with Lee Sung Kook's entry in the character list? I bowed my head once. Min Ji Wan SSI, it is an honor to meet you. Are you also my fan? Fan. She had an outstanding beauty but it wasn't my style. Looking objectively, Yu Sangha was just as beautiful as her. Lee Sung Kook was spellbound due to the unique skill this woman possessed. I deliberately spoke like I was in a historical drama. I'm not a fan. But do you know him? Sung Dong Gu's king. Min Ji Wan's expression hardened. You. Lady of the brocade sleep. There was only one constellation with such distinctive features in all of ways of survival. It looks like you have a very high degree of sympathy with your sponsor. Please tell this to your sponsor. It is an honor to meet the last queen of Scylla. Lady of the Brocade Sleep. This was the title for the last queen of Sheila, Queen Jinsung, Wiki Link. The sponsor behind, Min Jiwan, is greatly shaken. Don't panic. Didn't you come to realize Scylla's wish? It sometimes happened like this. 
the coordination between sponsor and incarnation was overturned. The sponsor would force their unfulfilled wish onto their incarnation. It was a mistake often made by the senior constellations. There was a possibility of being destroyed by the posthumous storm. Min Jiwan narrowed her eyes. You. Now according to the development of ways of survival, the three areas of Sungdong Giyu, Yongsun Giyu and Yongdiangpo Giyu were fighting fiercely. Just like the old days on the Korean peninsula. Then a message popped up. A bounty scenario has occurred. Huh. Bounty. Plus. Bounty scenario, unification of the three kingdoms. Category. Bounty. Difficulty. Clear conditions. The great people of Silla want the incarnation of Silla, Min Jiwan, to become king of the three regions. Help incarnation, Min Jiwan, and kill the kings who have the backgrounds of later Baiki and Taebong. If this scenario succeeds, you will gain the favor of the constellation, Lady of the Brocade Sleep. Time limit, 38 hours. Compensation, 2,000 coins. Failure. Plus, I stared at the scenario window blankly while Min Jiwan sent me a coquettish smile. My sponsor wants to see your sincerity. Won't you accept? I won't speak much longer. Become my subordinate. She spoke in such a domineering tone despite only offering 2,000 coins. I couldn't help smiling. This sponsor was completely seeing me as a poor person. The constellation, prisoner of the golden headband, dislikes the sponsor of, Min Jiwan. The constellation, secretive plotter, is laughing at the constellation. 2,000 coins have been sponsored. Five volumes of Revelation, SSSSS Great Infinite Regressor have been sold on the exchange. You have obtained 5,000 coins as compensation. I was curious about what this woman would look like if she heard the messages that I was hearing right now. What did she want me to do for 2,000 coins? TL, this chapter was a pain to translate with all the titles and Korean history. The later part is referring to the the later three kingdoms of Korea from 892 to 936. Wiki link. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint written by Sing Shang. Audio by Dex San Wu Li.